Oh my god, it's the Wii. It's been a while. In fact, I believe that the games on there are the games that I was looking at when uh, we were talking about the Wii shop closing down. But the Wii has gotten a second lease on life. It's breathing once again because there is something we need to do here. Just make sure that the Wii mote is, is Wii moting. There's the pointer. I'm just need to make sure that that's okay. I think it's as good as I'm going to get it. Okay. Here is where we're going today. We have to escape from Bug Island. The game that in Japan was called Necronesia, and I guess when they localized it, they realized we shouldn't give it a name that sounds at all uh, serious. Let's just make it sound like a low-budget old monster movie. Probably that's that probably matches the tone of the game. Uh, I did start playing this some years ago, but just stopped, never went back to it. We're going back to it now. We're pressing start. This game is played in nunchuck style. That's right. Got to have the nunchuck if you want to play this. Oh, and I'll, I do need to secure my wrist strap. All right. Thank you for reminding me. Secret Stash Games. And Spike. We've played games from Spike before. I like how all the clips from that are from cutscenes. Pretty sure. Hiding for hiding what the actual gameplay is like. All right. Let's uh start a game. Let's go to some options. All right. Screen. Let's see. Okay. So something we learned when I was playing this some years ago, pretty dark game. This is the default brightness, I think. Well, we're going to jack that up a bit. Uh, hope we'll see how this looks because the game looks very dark, very muddy. So we will see. Audio. We could set language to Japanese if we want. It has both English and Japanese voice tracks, I guess. All right. No, no use putting it off any longer. It's time to enter Bug Island. Let's learn about the story. We will be playing on normal. Uh, the Wiimote is in my right hand and Nunchuck is in the left, which is what most games did. So that's what we're going with here. not exactly my idea, Paradise. What do you think, Ray? Huh? Did you say something about Michelle? You know, if you keep staring like that, you're gonna go blind.
What? I don't know what you're talking about. She loves the bugs, which is why she wanted to come to Bug Island. If she wasn't like that, she'd probably have a few boyfriends by now. I can't voice all the lines, you see. You have a budget we're talking about here. Michelle's not like you. She would never go out with more than one guy at a time. I've never technically cheated on any of my girlfriends. You've never had the chance. Have you ever had a relationship that lasted more than three weeks? At least I've had a girlfriend, unlike you. You know, if you like Michelle so much, why don't you tell her? A, a girl like Michelle requires a lot of finesse. Anyway, I plan on telling her tonight. Yeah, sure. So that's why someone who hates bugs as much as you agreed to come on this trip. Well, someone had to protect her from you and your shotgun that you keep pointing at everyone. Don't you trust me? I've been be we've been best friends since high school. I would never go after your girl. You should know that. Yeah, right. I trust you about as much as I trust the bugs on this island. Hey, at least Michelle likes bugs. Eh. Mike! Ray! It's getting dark. I think we should set up camp. There's a good spot over there. It was still morning when we got on the boat, wasn't it? Where'd the sun go? The sun will be back tomorrow, Mike. It's pretty dark. I wouldn't want to be caught out in that fog either. You're just scared of giant bugs, wuss. This island is exactly like the Necro Notes described it. It's a paradise for insects. You mean this place is gonna be crawling with those things? Oh, they're big, but I'm sure they're harmless. Besides, think of what we could learn here. Analyzing their ecosystem could lead to amazing advances in the scientific field of science. Or amazing advances in bug spray. You really need to get over your dislike of insects, Ray. They survived billions of years and are more adaptable than humans will ever be. We'll see how well no, we'll see how well they adapt to the bottom of my shoe. Right, that was Ray saying that. Yeah, let's begin the tutorial. So we came to Bug Island, Ray did, because he has a thing for Michelle, and even though he hates bugs. He needs to get involved with her interests. There's no way I'm letting those freaky bugs come near me. <laughs> oh, so you're planning to squish them all with your bare hands? No, there's got to be something I can use. I don't know how well a shotgun is gonna, really going to work against like tiny bugs. Okay, step one attacks. We can use the control stick on the nunchuck. Minimap is at the bottom right. Use the minimap to find the destination point. Let's look for a weapon. The destination point on the minimap. All right, so we're playing. There we go. The game has begun. We are playing Escape from Bug Island. Um, so we move around like this with analog stick on the nunchuck. We have a minimap. We can see a pulsing coming from up north on the minimap. Let us go find a weapon. We don't need a shotgun. We can use nature's weapons. Like this. This tree branch. Oh, 
Oh, nice weapon. What are you gonna do? Poke him to death? Hey, it's all I could find. Okay. So there's a sound coming from the Wiimote. Uh, as I swing. I don't know if you can, like, make that come out of the TV or what. Well, anyway, let's practice. Try holding the B button by swinging the Wiimote down. So this was... A, I think this was a fairly early Wii game, if I remember right. Like, this was the point where, you know, you, you fig developers figured they had to use the features. So this is how we, we swing the Wiimote to attack. Like that. Attack successful. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Normal attacks are comprised of mid, high, and low attacks. I can use triple hit attack combos. Mid attacks. Third hit of a mid attack changes on how hard you swing the Wii Remote. Ah, analog pressure sensitive swings. Lighter attacks leave smaller openings. And stronger attacks leave larger openings. Let's start off with a light attack. Okay, hold B button, swing, swing, swing. Oh, I think that was a heavy attack, actually. Swing, swing, swing. There we go. That's a light attack. No. Try strong attack. All right. Swing, swing, swing. That was a light attack. That did not register the third one. Again, it did not. One, two, three. That was still a light attack. One, two, three. Nope, that was only registered the first one. One, two, th nope. Let's see. One, two, three. Nope. That was like, I'm actually doing at the same cadence as the thing on the screen. And like, not even registering it past one. There it is. That's a str You don't swing it nearly as much as the graphic on the screen. You just do a... Apparently the way to do it is just a slight flick of the wrist. No. Master both kinds of attacks. I will not. You cannot make me. High attacks. Attack while pushing the control stick upwards. So the analog stick on the nunchuck. Let's see. Hold B button, analog stick upward, swing the re the Wiimote up. I did I did it. No. High attacks can be used against the airborne enemies. Low attacks? Let's see. Same thing but control stick pressed down. Okay, B button pressed, analog stick down, swing down. I did it. No. Low attacks are effective on shorter enemies. The fun thing is how swinging the remote, completely unnecessary. You could have just pressed the button and like flicked the analog stick to swing. But because you have to use motion controls, you had to in that time, you, ha you have to do it. But it's completely unnecessary. Pressing the A button switches to first person view. Oh, good. And then we can look around while moving the Wiimote. Press the... Okay, there we go. First person view. We are looking around. Yep, we sure are. Use these controls while in the first person view. Press B button while in first person view to do a thrust attack. Let's try it. Okay. There we go. I terrific. No. I like how Mike is watching us practice our a variety of swings and thrusts. And like, why are we doing that? Do we know the island's dangerous? As far as I know, we don't know that yet. Different enemies have different weak points. Find your enemy's weak point. Thrust to normal attacks differ in power. Try a different. I will not try out different combinations. No, no. Huh? You're a regular action hero. Did you bring anything to eat? I'm famished. No, 
but there's plenty of fresh fruit on the island. Like that orange on the ground. I need something to knock it down. Sticks and rocks? That's quite an arsenal you got there. I'm sure Michelle will be impressed. Throwing attacks. Multiple rock piles, files can be found around. Pick up rocks. Okay, my map marks where the, the rocks are. I will pick them up. I can also pick this orange off the ground. I found orange. But that's not good enough. We have to learn how to throw rocks. This rock could be a weapon. I'll take as much as I can. I found rock. Okay, throw rocks to attack enemies from afar. And hit down fruit from trees. Okay. Ooh, scary. Think you can handle it? Shut up! Okay, first person view. Hold the B button and swing the Wii Remote downward to throw rocks. Whoops, I didn't read that. It doesn't matter. Use a rock. Okay. Let's... Look around. Okay, like... Like that. There we go. Thanks. No. On the map, I will find trees like this one that bear fruit. Search for them using the first person view. First, yeah, control. Okay, so I can move in first person view. Toggle with Z button between throwing and melee. Hey, Ray, I think they like you. Huh? Who, who? Who? Oh, bugs, yes. Special actions. Swing the nunchuck upwards while pu pushing the control stick to take a back step. All, all right. Back step to, step to evade attacks or distance myself from the enemy. Take a back step. Uh, swing upward, nunchuck upwards while pushing control stick downwards. Huh. I took a back step. N no, I won't practice again. Uh, swing the Wii Remote to the right to roll to the right side. Roll to dodge enemy attacks or rid ourselves of enemies stuck to our body. Swing re Remote. Uh, there we go. Okay. I roll to the right. No. Swing the nunchuck to the left to roll to the left side. Huh. I roll to the left. No. When enemies climb up on me and bite me, I'll enter danger evasion mode. I guess sw swing everything. I successfully evaded danger. No. It's a pretty lengthy tutorial. When in danger evasion mode, the music and view will change. I'll quickly shake the remote and run. Ah, why don't they go after you? Maybe you smell better, like flowers. <laughs> I like how his response to things are just a cockish shotgun. It's a security blanket. I picked up this book just for our trip. It's really interesting. It's all about the insects on this island. Err. What's so great about an encyclopedia of bugs? It's an ancient text translated by my favorite entomologist. The necro notes describe the ecology of the most advanced insects in the world. Insects evolve much faster than human beings, you know. I think it's fascinating. Wait, you have a favorite entomologist? Ray, are you okay? You look pale. Michelle, can we go for a walk or something? 
I mean, who has a favorite entomologist? Mike, can you leave us alone for a minute? Sure, but I have to ask Michelle something first. What is wrong with you two? Michelle, will you be my girlfriend? What? I love you. What? Oh, Mike, you're such a kidder. Kidder, you see me as some sort of joke? Well... Michelle, I've given this a lot of thought, and it's like you and I were made for each other. So what's your answer? Will you be my girlfriend? Uh-huh! Wait a minute, you totally stole that line from me! Oh, like it was original to begin with. Eh. Listen, Michelle, I can wait on your answer as long as it takes. How about tomorrow? Uh, or now? Now would be better. Eh, uh, I, I think I need to go for a walk. Uh, me too. I'll, I'll go with you. Uh, please don't. I just need to be alone right now. I, I just need to think about this. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, let her go. I'll be back soon. But, uh. What the hell, Mike? Eh, uh, she is cute for a weirdo bug freak. Besides, you should have seen the look on your face. But you don't even love Michelle. Hey, I honestly hadn't thought about it. But then you started saying how great she was all the time, and... What? After a while, I thought, oh, maybe you were right. So... It's really your fault that I'm in love with her now. Besides, it's obvious she totally digs me. Does not. Does too. Look, I'm going after Michelle. I'm sure she needs to talk. But you just told me to let her go a minute ago. Yeah, chicks dig that kind of stuff. Eh. Why does this type of thing always seem to happen to me? <laughs> All right, we nodded off. I wonder where they went. Oh, man, this is really bothering me. I guess I'll search over there. Okay, the light controls. Press the C button on Nunchuck to switch the light on and off. Saving controls. Press the A button when I'm in front of a lamp. Save screen will appear. I'll be able to save. I can only save when the lamp is on. Alright, that's our flashlight. I found knife. Lamp is lit. Sure, let's save a game. All right, now we're starting our adventure. So as we see, um, we came here because we wanted to make our feelings known to Michelle, but oh, that Mike deciding that he was gonna just splash some cold water all over us and maybe sexually harass Michelle. It just makes us want to roll out of frustration. 
Just get our anxieties out of here by rolling around. By the way, hold on. Can I? Let's go to options. That's Those sounds are coming out of my Wii mode. I wonder if you can change that. Well, no, we went to the audio options. There wasn't anything like that. No, this was the only option for that. Yeah, nothing here. Well, we're starting off by this cabin. Let's take a look inside. We finally made it to the island. The original idea was to set up camp outside, but someone forgot to bring the tent poles. I would have liked to sleep under the stars, but my girlfriend is allergic to mosquitoes, so we had to break into one of the cabins. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. Although it seems that whoever did left in a hurry. I hope they don't plan to come back anytime soon. Hmm. Well, someone left the fridge open. I found can of food. I will take this with me. I mean, it, the can is still sealed, so it should be okay. Anything else here? See, can I break that? I can break that. So let's see. Which one do we want? We're holding a stick. But we also picked up a knife. You'd think knife would be better than stick. Knife. Equip knife. I have rock. 99 rocks. That was a lot of rocks. Accessories. We have, um... Dharma Pendant, Favorite Pendant. What? Okay. Light. Flashlight. It's my favorite pendant. That's all we need to know. Alright, that's knife. Stick is longer, but you would think knife would have to be better. Oh, we can also look at... Let's see... Map? Not much is on the map right now. I guess let's look around. Let's fill out the map. So we came here to Bug Island because Michelle is interested in studying these uh, insects that are just science don't know about because think about how much that could help the field of science, the knowledge of examining these insects. So many scientific advancements could occur because of that. So that's why we're here, or at least that's why Michelle's here. And then Ray wanted to make his feelings known, but then Mike came here because, well, Mike, does, see, Mike seems like a bit of a jerk. But uh, Michelle and Mike went off somewhere, and uh, Ray just sat there like a sack of potatoes, feeling sorry for himself. Time passed, and he decided I probably should take a look at where my friends went. They didn't come back. They're probably fine. Just filling out the edges on this map, seeing what we can find. Here's our boat. The, it's our boat, the good ship Freshwood. Time to leave without them. Well, it does not seem like we can. I wonder if this will kill me. A mango? I hope not. I mean, we brought it with us on the ship. You might be wondering how this game controls, and, uh, uh bad. Uh, bad is the answer. I don't think we can... I don't think we can sidestep. Like, I can turn and move forward and move back. Of course, we can dodge to the sides. But I don't think we can actually sidestep. Basically, the game feels like tank controls, uh, but of course, the it's not fixed camera angles. Now, 
and of course a lot of the motion a lot of the uh things we have to do are done with motion even though they really don't need to be done with motion of course they are done with motion because this was the wii an early wii game so you had to do it that way you had to it was that's that was the law it would have been illegal not to you have to use the features Oh no, bugs! And as we know, Ray is afraid of bugs. He can't stand them. But, I mean, he came here because his love for Michelle is just that strong. <laughs> oh no, landfish. I like the expression on his face. He's just like, aw. The most appealing kind of protagonist, the sad sack. Okay, we got out of that area. Um, there are... Bo I, yeah, I do remember something about that. There are bonus conditions if you want to achieve all the objectives. So in this case, it would have been 10 wooden boxes, 5 killer fish, 50 centipedes. Look, you want your replay value, right? You, you bought this game for the Wii. You want to have replay value. So after you're done with Escape from Bug Island, you can go back and try to achieve all of the objectives. If that's what you can do. Yeah. Probably a good idea to save at the end of these. I like that that logo. It's like a hornet with a red slash through it. Okay, we're continuing. It's not we're not starting with a cutscene or anything. We're just continuing on the way we've been going. It's, oh no, a mantis. Yeah. We killed it, and it dropped uh, gems? Or some such? Drop something. I greatly enjoy about how the music just keeps turning on and off based on if an enemy sees us. I mean, I guess it does work as an alert. All right, let's um, continue walking around this map. Let's fill it out until we find something. Well, this looks like it was a path, but it looks like a cave, but this rock is blocking the way. It's a big fucking rock.
How far do you think our friends went off? They just decided not to come back to the camp. Oh, uh, we can see some pulsing. We can see some pulsing on our map. Uh, we could continue going around the, the border. Oh, we got two pulsings. Two pulsings happening here. Climb up. Uh-oh, got something on me. Shake! Just gotta shake that Wiimote nunchuck to get him off. We did it. Can I go down here? Doesn't seem like it. I like how the interact button is the same button as the first person perspective button. So if I'm like hitting, if I want to see if I want, if I can interact with something and I hit that button, it goes like this. That's fun. Hold on, we got a note. Oh yeah, now, now that we got a fixed camera angle can really appreciate the tank controls. They feel so tanky. You know, I feel like it people would have a difficult time squashing insects if they screamed when you did it. They usually don't do that. There's a lamp, but nothing to light it with. I got a can of food. Can I not read the note? There's clearly a note on that table. An air there. February 29, giant bugs just ate one of my friends. Actually, from the sound of it, they're still eating him, and then they're going to eat me. The rest of us are hiding out until they go away. We passed something that looked like a giant nest earlier. It was up in one of the trees. It looks like I might be able to knock it down if I can find something to throw at it. My girlfriend ran off a little while ago. She's been acting strange ever since we got here. I wonder if it's her mosquito allergy. Oh, this seems like a bad place to bring someone who has a mosquito allergy. Anyhow, she dropped her lighter. I'll give it back once I find her. I just hope she doesn't get eaten by then. I think I know why no one lives here anymore. How about that? Okay, there was a second pulse. On the map, let's, you know, wander around until it comes back up. All right, so someone else is here, and um, his girlfriend's missing. And she's allergic to mosquitoes, which seems like a bad... It seems bad to come here. This seems like a bad idea in general. Well, allergies or no... Hold on. Some, someone saw me. Who saw me? I don't see anyone. There we go. Like, even if you don't have allergies, it seems like it's just a bad, idea, bad idea in general to come here. Here's an orange. Tasty island cuisine. Mm-mm, tasty. Oh, over there? What are these things that they're dropping? Let me take a look at the, um... At the subscreen here. It says I have 15 of them. You see on the right side, it says X15 purple things. Yep, I, I don't know. February 28th. There's a body in the woods. We found it hiking today. At first, we thought it was a moose, but then my girlfriend pointed out that there are no moose on this island. Then we saw the skull, and it was definitely human. On our way back to camp, one of my buddies walked into a swarm of bugs. He lost a lot of blood. We turned our flashlights off, and they pretty much left us alone after that. Okay. So I can turn the flashlight off if we come into a swarm of bugs. I guess we should remember that. Shh. 
You'd think that if uh, Michelle and Mike got into trouble, we would hear the sound of Mike's shotgun. As far as I know, we have not heard the sound of any shooting. Just fill out this map a little bit. We did see a second pulsating point. I guess let's just wander around a bit until it shows up again. It's a flying insect over there. But let's just keep walking. You know, I'm just going to say that uh, when going to an island that's known for being covered with bugs, I agree, jorts, probably a good idea to wear. Leave those, uh, sh those, leave those shins completely exposed. You don't need the coverage. Our skin is tough enough to survive these bites. Oh, it's a birthing tree. The tree that gives birth to bugs. Oh, we got more than one. There's there we got more than one around the birthing tree. We have, there's so many. We have to beat a tactical retreat from the birthing tree. Looks tasty. Yeah. yeah. Gonna have to lead them away from the tree. That is where the glowing point is, so I guess we do have to approach. But I guess in, on the bright side, we are getting plenty of purple things. Whatever the purple things are. I can see it birthing. As long as it's only one of a one at a time, it's not a problem. But if we get more than one, it becomes a problem. Also, I completed a, a bonus objective of killing three mantises. Oh, I fell in a pit. And there are bugs on me. Get those bugs off. More bugs. They're quite aggressive. I should slow down. Well, slowing down is really not an option here on Bug Island. Not equipment.
let's um eat some spinach. Maximum health recovery. Num num num. Just ate the entire can. All right, so clearly we're going to need to get a shot at the birthing tree. But there are so many mantises around. And they keep getting... More of them keep getting born. Oh, they just stopped coming? All right. Oh, it's so hard to point. Wonder if there's a way to get to the other side of the tree without them seeing me. If I could get in throwing range of the tree without them noticing, you know, maybe we could do something. But as the music indicates, they have seen me. Let's try turning off the flashlight. Maybe that will help our stealth action. Nope, that's turning it on. There we go. That's changing the weapon. Can I see it from here? Glowing spot says it's in front of me. I'm not actually seeing it. Not, not dead? Yeah. Oh. Glory kill. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Point at it? Oh, it's so hard. It is so hard. It's hard to tell if they're ever actually going to be able to turn around to get to me. Like, maybe I could take the time to try to throw. Because maybe they won't actually be able to work out how to get... To, you, know, it's, you, know, you don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Let's see, how far away can we actually hit it from? If I throw high... Oh, I hit it from here. Oh, there it is. It fell. Oh, 
Oh, the cigarette lighter. Hold on, there's a mushroom right there. Clearly we want it. did it. We just defeated the Mantis and their society, proving the justice of ours. Uh, let's eat this mango that might kill us. Medium health recovery. It didn't kill us. A big victory for Ray. Ray seems like the kind of guy who doesn't have many victories in his life. But he succeeded. He destroyed all the Mantises. Well, maybe there's still one around somewhere, but we destroyed the mantis nest, so there shouldn't be any more coming. All right, now we have a lighter. Now we have what we need to light this up. We lit the lamp. Did that mean something? I don't know. Didn't seem like it. What's what's making that creepy noise? It sounds like it's coming from the west. I guess I'll go check it out. All right. Uh, I guess we have a new objective. We heard creepy noise from West. Well, there's a big, big hill in our way. I guess let's uh, press our cell, press our body against this hill and slide across it until we find a way through. Is this meat? It's very, I don't know, maybe it's just rocks. It's very red. I can't really, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go inside. Try explaining it in English this time. That's easier said than done. You can't just barge into people's houses like that. You scared me half to death. What is with this place? Now everything... Is everything out to get me? Well, kid, don't just stand there like a deer in headlights. What do you want? Or are you just another lamb on the way to the slaughterhouse? Harry, shut up. You've been no help at all. Hey, I'm an entomologist, not an action hero. So what brings you to this lovely little vacation spot? It wasn't my idea, believe me. Then there were others with you? Did, did they get eaten? A girl, I think she might have come this way. A big guy might have been with her. You know, constantly pointing his shotgun at things. It's, does that sound familiar? The only thing we've seen thus far are those huge bugs. I bet they got eaten. Say that one more time and there won't be enough left of you for the maggots to eat. You know, you were quite lucky to get this far. All, you know, this far. All the way here. 
this far, all the way to this little cabin. Lucky, I got a damned pointy stick to fight off giant millipedes and praying mantises. Now we have a knife. We, we found a knife. Oh yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Well, it could be worse. You could be stuck here with this lying scumbag. Uh, who's a scumbag? Uh, yeah. Well, I really have to get going. People to see, you know. Thanks for nothing. Just a minute. I need a favor. Some other time. I'm really in a hurry here. Look, on my way here, I was attacked by a praying mantis and I dropped my bag. I'd like you to find it and bring me the secret weapon that's inside. I don't have time for you or your secret weapons. But without a weapon, I'll never get out of here. My blood would be on your hands. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? Here's the key. Hurry. I received Harry's bag key. Don't forget to come back. You can't leave me here like this. I'm an important member of the scientific community. Man, we have such disdain for these people. Just what you walked in, had a little conversation with them, and by the end of it, we're like, I don't care if you get eaten alive by bugs. I would be happy if that happened. We'll see ya. All right, well, let's see. Well, there is a glowing thing by that check mark. If if there's a check mark, does that mean we were all whoops? Does that mean we were already there? Maybe it does, but it is glowing, so I guess that's where we're going. Got to find his secret weapon. What could possibly be the secret weapon? Also, Harry was an important member of the scientific community. Was he also here on a trip to learn about the bugs? As described by the Necro Notes. I like how uh, Michelle never actually described, said, like, what that is. He has a book called the Necro Notes. Talking about the uh, unexplored insects from this place. But she never, like, never really any kind of explanation as to what that is. Should I just know? So this is the bag Harry was talking about. I used the bag, the key to Harry's bag. I like the little uh, icon on there. Muscle man in a muscle pose. Hey, now we're talking. I found insecticide. It's not really a secret weapon. Is this the weapon he was talking about? I guess we should go back and give him his weapon. I guess I need to go up around here. So I, won I wonder if the same music is going to play any kind, anytime any enemy sees us throughout the game. How many times will we be hearing this particular track? I wonder. I've, I feel like it... I feel it's already gotten kind of old. I, I feel like we will be quite, quite tired of that track by the end. All right, here we go. We're back. Here's your insecticide, Harry. Ah! 
Oh no, Harry! We knew him so well. We never re we we weren't even able to give him his secret weapon. All right. Uh, we have a knife. That that. that. <laughs> I have to say, we have a knife, so that's probably good. It's probably our odds are looking pretty good. Hold on, my health is a, a little low. Hold on, giant monkey. I'm just going to eat an orange. Pardon me. Num, num, num. Num, num, num. Uh, he comes in so fast. Well, I hit him a few times, but um, his hits do a lot more damage. Got a bug on me. Can't deal with you bugs right now. We got giant monkey. Cannot, can you not see? He's so fast. Oh, he can climb. He can climb. I ran into him. Well, him climbing does uh, maybe make things a little more complicated. Maybe I should eat something. <laughs> yes. Hold on. I uh, hold on, giant monkey. I'm just gonna open up this uh, can of spinach. Mmm, spinach. Yeah, he just goes right up that tree. I guess I must have stabbed him in the hand. All right, we won? I mean, we didn't really win because, well. No! 
How could this happen? Oh no, not Harry. Not Harry. We'll never forget him. I mean, it sounds like we're regretting his death now, but when he was alive, we told him that we wouldn't care. Just find a napkin. We, we told him that we wouldn't care if he was killed by bugs. I wonder if this will kill me. Only one way to find out. I mean, I guess Harry was not killed by bugs. He was killed by giant monkey. Completely different. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. But there is like a glowing spot on the map. Maybe there's something outside. Wait, there's something on the yeah, something on the stairs. March 1st, there's something big living on this island. As far as I can tell, it's at least two stories tall. I almost it almost caught me earlier, but I hit it in the face and got away. My friends don't believe me. I'm still looking for my girlfriend. I found her tracks in the mud earlier. I'm surprised she was able to run so far in heels. Maybe next time she'll listen to me when I tell her to pack sneakers. Like, we know from Silent Hill 4, a woman can run for a pretty long time in heels. We know this. Um, when he says there's something that's two stories tall and he hit it in the face, is he talking about the monkey? Because we were not able to hit it in the face. Like, maybe if we threw a rock, maybe we could have hit it in the face with a rock, possibly? Maybe that could have been a way of doing it. But, man, throwing the rocks, it's so hard. I can't get across to you how difficult it is to use the pointer to do that. Alright, yeah, in the, uh, northwest? I guess this must have been where uh, the girl ran off. We didn't see where she went. All right. We killed 70 enemies. And one, we have 107 purple fragments, whatever that means. We uh, The other objectives were to get 10 oranges and fall in all the traps. What? Why would anyone want to do that? No. Yeah, I'll save. <clears throat> That's just having an achievement just for the sake of having an achievement. No one wants to do that. Will we meet more friends? Uh, who will then be rapidly killed by the wildlife on this island. Oh, we got... We only have new insects. There are many of them. Alright, maybe this is a dead end. Maybe I should swing my knife. Well, it's a little difficult. No, oh, I can see a glowy, glowy that direction. Yes, we can't forget that we can find nature's first aid kits on the ground here and there. March 2nd. I saw an interesting thing today. There was something glittering down in the ravine. I noticed it as we crossed over on the logs. One of my friends went to check it out, but he didn't make it back. Apparently, crickets think we make good babysitters. What? All right. I wonder if we're going to find out who's who's written all these notes. 
Because they're not signed by anyone, so we don't know who, like, the name of the person who's writing them. Will that person be part of the story? Or will, are they just meaningless notes? All right, we're going way up north. Way up north. Look at these rolly boys. That's a cloud of bugs. Oh, we got poisoned by the cloud. We're tired. All right, let's replenish our health with some spinach. Mmm. Also, that one uh, note did say that if we turn off the flashlight, we can lose the attention of the cloud. Alright, is this a dead... Oh, hold on. Something here. It... Oh! Heart mushroom looks strange. Well, may maybe when we're desperate. All right, I guess we're at a. I guess we must be at a dead end. Why don't we, I guess we'll have to go back south and round to the west. I guess coming here was only to get that heart mushroom. We don't want to fall off. Balance bridge controls. Push control stick upwards and downwards to make our way across narrower bridges. If you twist the Wii remote, the, men the meter on the balance gauge will twist to the left or right, as you can see there. I'll lose my balance if the meter hits the yellow area on either side. To regain my balance, twist the Wii remote so that the meter stays within the blue area. Use the Wii Remote to carefully cross the bridge without falling. Oh, good. Whoop. Move it to the... all the way to the blue. That, that was in the blue. That was in the blue. I guess we have to get back up to the bridge. Maybe I didn't get into the blue fast enough.
So there is a different camera angle when I get to this one place. Oh, there, there it is. There's... I found a purple mushroom. Okay, let's get uh, back over there. Here we go. Let's try that a second time. I wonder how many of these will be in the game. Probably many. Okay, as I push the analog stick forward, the blue area gets smaller and the yellow gets bigger. But when I pull my thumb away, then the blue widens out again. So maybe if I just keep poking at it, maybe the blue will stay wide enough. There we go. No, nothing there. All right, let's try it again. I feel like this log is wide enough that we wouldn't have to do this. Like, it seems pretty stable. It seems like he could get... He could just walk normally across that. I don't know. All right. Why were we come? I don't remember why we were coming here. Was there a reason? Oh, it's glowy on the map. That's the only real reason we need. March 2nd. Pulsing red mushrooms freak me out. I was hungry, so I ate one. And I've never felt better. I found one of my girlfriend's hair clips near this gigantic tree. It looks like there's a way through to the other side. I wonder what possessed her to go this way. There's this thing hanging in the tree. I don't know why, but I really want it. There's no way to get it down with what I have now, but I can't stop thinking about it. If only I had a gun. Okay, a thing hanging in a tree. A big tree. A thing hanging from it. If only we could get it out of there. Mmm, mango. We love mango. They save our lives. All right, um, let's see. So there's a pulse. Is that inside the, the, uh, the canyon? Like, are we supposed to fall down in there? I guess... Okay, well, there is also a pulsing thing up north. But I guess there's something in the canyon we're supposed to get.
It would be nice if it was like on the edge of this. But I don't I don't think it is. I mean, I, I don't expect I'll be able to see anything from a distance. Well, we'll continue going north. Maybe we'll come back for that at some point. If we need to. What is this? A tarp? It looks like there's something underneath it. Sure, let's turn it over. I turned it over. Uh-uh? I found bat. Get a bat! I didn't realize that was a bonus. We, we complete, completed a bonus objective. Stained with someone else's blood. Well, I hope it's not our blood. All right, let's have a look at this. I assume it's gonna it's a stronger weapon. I guess we won't know until it's time for combat. Tasty Island Cuisine. Mm-mm. I like how there's just invisible walls somewhere. Like, I can't walk forward here. Just because. I can't walk forward here either. No going that way. Or here. Let's see something. Alright, so that objective is... Whoop, not that. Uh, that objective is way far up in the north. Can we get there? Like, may... I... Maybe? I don't know. Can we, like, walk on, like, some roots or something? Or is, like, a, there a path that we can walk on? Okay, this one we can. Oh, is that the thing? The thing that was in the tree? Well, I'm not seeing it in the first person mode.
Oh, okay. We do we have like is this like a boss fight? Oh, there are bugs on me. Okay. I guess we could try using the bat. Oh, we stabbed it with the bat. The classic bat stab. I guess it's not actually a boss. It's just like an, a new enemy, I guess. Just find a napkin. Nice. Hold on, bugs. We're actually a further north than our glowing spot. Here it is. Vines are blocking my path. I need something sharp to cut them. My knife just bounces off. I know my girlfriend came this way. She's small and wiry, so she probably just slipped through. All right, a knife is not good enough to go through the vines that we'll be going. That we'll be seeing. We need something sharper than the knife. Something shiny in that hole. Yes, let's absolutely investigate the shiny hole. 
squelch, squelch. What is he? What even is that sound effect? Now, if I could just find a napkin. Okay, it's just a mushroom. The tension of the shiny hole investigation scene. Ray sticks his hand inside, and you wonder what will happen. And you hear the uh, squelching noises. Is what I guess those sound effects were. We found a rock. Uh, I was full of tension, believe me, at wondering what he would pull out of the rock. Just filling out some map, as we do. Ah, uh, we can't go in here. This cave is rock. This rock is blocking the way. All right, so that is inaccessible. Let's have a look at our map. All right, so there is some bits in the north side that we haven't done yet. The only glowing spot is that same one that has been there. The bag in the tree. Uh, as I assume it's not the glowing thing, because those were in different parts altogether. Like, those are just completely different places, but there isn't another glowing spot. Oh, these are the vines. These must be the vines. I just I wanted to oh, I just want to hit the prompt when it says search. I want to see what it says. There we go. Some vines are in the way. We will need a sharp blade to cut them. And our sharp blade is not sharp enough, unfortunately. Well, I mean Michelle and Mike, they're pretty wiry themselves, so they probably went through them. Can of food. I mean, as we go on, it seems like Henry's prediction that our friends were eaten seems more and more plausible, since they're not showing up anywhere. And we don't have a reason why they wouldn't have just come back the way they came. Fills out the map in here. Getting weaker. All right, I'll eat something.
By the way, the purple mushroom. Oh, purple mushroom effect is unknown until we eat. All right, let's um, look up and see if we can see where that bag is. Because we got a cutscene where it, the camera went up and we saw the bag hanging from a branch. But where exactly is that bag is, um, doesn't seem like the clear, didn't seem like the clearest thing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, actually, you can't really see it with the flashlight off, can you? That just bounces right off. I guess that's why the note said, if only... We had, uh, if only we had a gun to shoot it down. Rocks are just not good enough. Brown mushroom. Also, what does it say on the back of our jacket? It's like mirrored. So it's a mirrored texture. S-I-I-I-S is what it says. I'm a big fan of that sports team. Go asses. All right, well, we've explored the other part of that, and uh, right now, I guess the only place we haven't explored is that glowing spot in the canyon. So I guess, well, we can fill out a bit more map here. Now, if I could just find a napkin. Thing that I was unsure about is if that glowing spot is down there or is it up here because I it would make me sad to go down there if uh, it turned out it was actually up here somewhere but it definitely that the glowing spot definitely looks like it's down there unless it might have been on this log but I don't think it was on the log right, let's just fall down Let's see. Come on. There's so many of them. But we have to endure to see... Oh, we found a sickle. Okay. That's the sharp thing. That's gonna cup, cut some vines.
have a look here. Sickle can chop thin ivy. You'd think it would be a stronger weapon than the bat. I mean, I guess we won't know until we try. Num, num, num. All right, our time for our favorite part. The sickle, though, doesn't really help us um, get the bag, does it? Like, we. I mean, I, I'm assuming we're not going to throw the sickle at the bag. But the bag. The sickle will help us get through the vines. Maybe we can get something that will help us get the bag and then we come back? Maybe. Okay, yeah, so it was, uh, northeast. The enemy music starting immediately as I turn the flashlight on. if that's actually working. Yeah, yeah, we will eat something. Num, num, num. Well, there's like a little damage effect when I slice these things with the... Oh, there we go. There we go. I think it worked. I cut the vines and unblocked the path. Great. 
There was another one that was blocked by vines, wasn't there? This one? I don't see any damage when I use it on this, so I don't think this works. All right, let's head on through. We completed another level. We got a bat. That was a bonus condition. Kill 50 crickets and kill 20 carnivorous plants if you want the bonuses. I will save. Why don't we have a look at, at the map? Well, can we see any map so far with this? Just when we first get in here. Well, we can see where the um, current objectives are anyway. We're at river. That was forest. Now we're at river. Um, I think that maybe we'll take just a little, little short little break. Rest my wrists. Um, cause I mean, we're, you don't want to overload on too much Bug Island all at once. It's too good. It's too good. It'll ruin you for other video games. So let's have a little break. Okay. Break is over. And as I was discussing with the chat during the break, I, uh, the manual has some bios for our three characters. I might as well read them out here. It says that Ray is a freshman in college, although he hasn't declared it yet. Ray has a big crush on his friend Michelle. He also loves to play baseball. Michelle is a sophomore, majoring in insect psychology. She has come to the island to, re to work on a report for school. Mike has been friends with Ray for a long time. A confident playboy, he's never hesitant to give Ray a hard time for being inexperienced in love. And that's the extent of the story they have here in the manual. That's it. They didn't need any more story. We're done. Don't worry about it. Story? Pff, not needed. <clears throat> Let's, um... Remind myself, look at that map. Yeah, we're heading to the west. Oh, I hear the sound. Yep, I heard him. I was saying, do I hear... I was saying, do I hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. No bridge. Can we make it across that bridge? New new bugs. New oh fr and frog, and frog. And oh, I stepped in one of them. Stepped in one of those boys. Found an orange. I better take it easy. Yep. Better take it easy. Why don't we try a mushroom? We haven't eaten one of those. There we go. He does not care about my slashing. Ah, oh, there he goes. Yeah, he barely reacts at all. Can of food. You know, one thing that just makes me... I mean, there's many things about this game that's curious, but one thing that really makes me curious, why is the contrast... Why is the contrast so low? Like, everything is just sort of... Just is a gray mess. 
It doesn't have to be. It didn't have to be that way. You could have had, like, this toad could have been colorful. It didn't have to be just, like, a, a brown-gray mess. Like, even if you wanted things to be dark, you could, uh, increase that contrast. Oh, there's one over there. So things could stand out a little bit more. It didn't have to be... <laughs> didn't have to be this way man he just his his leap just comes out at you it's a quick one what about this mushroom brown is medium I'm wondering if which is more powerful, the scythe or the bat? Because the scythe, you'd think it would be more powerful, but the bat seemed like an optional weapon. Like, it was a weapon you didn't have to get. The scythe you had to get. Bat is optional, which makes me wonder if maybe bat might be a stronger weapon. It's hard to say. See, the, the, the weapons are in this order. Does this wep does this order indicate anything? Also, we also have uh, Insecticide. I should probably try it out. Let's just see what the range on this thing is. That's what that looks like. I guess we'll try it out when we see some insects. All right, this is one of these kinds. All right, I, it seems like I can only shoot it straight ahead. I can't, like, go up and down with it. Which is strange, because most insects are down. Oh. Hello. I assume the insecticide doesn't work very well on him. But you, I, you never know. Let's see. Okay, I guess there re really is only one path that we could be taking. bridge is broken. No way. I can't go any further. I have to find a way across. Alright, there is a log. Should I try to disengage that log with my baseball skills? Okay, aim up a little bit. There we go. Can I? Okay, there it is. Oh, he can lob projectiles at me. 
All right, I was going to do that, but no, then this boy decided to do it. I'm surrounded by bugs. Oh, I stepped in that. I'm going to have to get away from this toad. I, I want to try my insecticide. I stepped in that again. I got to watch out for those boys. Those mouth boys. All right, I guess how that I guess that works like that. You can't like move around when you're using it. You're just like standing there. Um so it's a little awkward. Like if you could like turn while you were firing it, it would uh I feel like that would feel a bit better. As it is, they it feels like they're hobbling it for no real reason. <laughs> All right, let me just let me let me let me just eat something. We have such a variety to choose from now. Mmm. That guy's... Oh, there are two of them, are there? Yeah, they're just... They're just lobbing... They're just lobbing their mucus at me. March 4. I think all of my friends are dead. I feel bad. But then, none of us were that close. There was a safe near inside this weird shed near the river. I was about to open it, but then that gigantic thing started chasing me again, and I lost the key in a pile of maggots. Eh, whatever was in that safe can't have been that important. All right, we're looking for a pile of maggots. Gotta find that key. Yeah, you know, I, they, we, I guess they were kind of my friends, but we really weren't that close. It's not a big deal. Let me eat an orange. No, I don't I can't be distracted, B. It's not no, it's not a B. Okay, one down. Well, at least I'm pick... Keep missing that. At least I'm picking up purple things. And according to the manual, if I keep up picking up purple things, something good might happen. I like how the game just doesn't actually tell you what they do. All right. Now that we're done with them, now we, we have to keep in mind we're looking for a pile of maggots to find a key. Let's have a look at this map. Okay, so we got... Whoop, not that. We're in river. We're going north. We got two points. Points of interest. Well, I mean, these could... These could be maggots. Right here.
Could this be the pile of maggots we were looking for? Well, I'm not getting a prompt as I run through the pile of maggots. So I don't know if this is indeed what we're looking for. This is absolutely one of the balance beams. Single toads, not that bad, but double toads is their problem. These hot single toads are all up in my area. Click now. There's actually like a little bit of color right there. Look at that. There's like a bright red coming out of the toads. I'm so unused to seeing any kind of color in this game. I didn't realize the the game was capable of displaying bright, intense color. It can do it, apparently. You wouldn't think so. cleared I better take it easy I better take it easy and just shove a mushroom down my, down my mouth shove it in there uh, effect is unknown I got poisoned I get yeah looks like I, that poisoned me all right I guess now we know Well, I mean, if we're just eating strange mushrooms we find in the wilderness, it was, I mean, I guess it only makes sense that one of them was, uh, was gonna hurt us. It's realistic, you understand. I feel like I'm really there on the island of bugs from which we need to escape. Necronesia, some people call it. Is there another one? Yeah, okay, there's another one of these over there. What? Oh, did I? Oh, I kicked. Well, no, I used the bat. I didn't kick. Right, I'm kind of forgetting you can use any weapon in first-person mode. It's just like, would there actually be a reason to use our melee weapon in first-person mode? 
Because using first person mode is an enormous pain. And the only reason that we are, we're doing it is for throwing rocks. I wonder if there would actually be a reason to, if we wanted to like use the bat in first person mode. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we are, uh... Okay, so to the west and south a little bit, and west and north. I wonder if uh, Mike's shotgun has helped him out on the island. I can I mean there, he can only have so many shells is the thing. And there are a lot of bugs and toads and there's the one gorilla. I feel like over alliance on the shotgun is not going to help Mike out that much. I found a red mushroom. Now we're heading south. Let's see what that glowy point is. You know, I hope Mike and Michelle have a good reason for not coming back to the campsite. I'm sure they will have a very good reason that they will explain to us and it'll make perfect sense at some point. Also, here are a lot of maggots. So maybe that key we were we read about, maybe that's here. Not much in these boxes. Oh, but we found the safe key. All right, so that was the glowy point that we needed. We haven't actually found the safe, but when we do, we will be ready. What's the expiration date on this? I know, right? Tasty Island Cuisine. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, if we found an orange on the ground, does that mean there's going to be, like, oranges in this tree? I don't see any. Because that's how it was at the beginning. We found, like, an orange under a tree, and then... There were oranges in the tree. Oh, yeah, I think I see it. Yeah, there are up there. There are oranges up there. I guess we would have to be able to uh, throw it that far. I don't know if we can. Oops, that's not it. Now we want that. A little low. Just want to get it a little higher. There it is. Fresh off the branch. Sometimes it just feels so hard to move this around. A little higher still. No, it's... Uh, 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 oh, this feels so bad. It feels so bad.
All right, maybe we'll just leave that one. Alright, we made it into the, uh, the spider home. Isn't that the good place we want to be? Let's read a note. March 5th. There seems to be something leaking from the trees. It has a sweet taste, and the exploding bugs around here seem to love it. They run right for it and ignore me, which is fine as far as I'm concerned. I find myself wondering if my, my wiry girlfriend is alive. And even so, is it worth it to look for her? Really, now I can get another girlfriend, I guess? Oh, here's the safe. I, I found honey. Oh, uh, that's, that's the thing. We can save in the middle of the spiders. Why not? There's so many spiders. We should probably take a look at what that honey is that we picked up. Jar of honey, already out of date. <laughs> All right, we completed the level. We did river. Uh, we killed 20 flies. That was an, ach an achievement. Oh, there was a steel pipe in that level. We did not get the steel pipe. We also did not kill the giant gorillas. But that that's fine. We, that's fine. It's fine. We'll save. We got a jar of honey. And that's the important part. Now we're heading on to the next level. Path. Aren't you excited for Path? Look, Escape from Bug Island is... Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, and there's a gorilla over there. Okay, well, now we found out where Mike and Michelle are. Why did they come? Why didn't they just come back to the campsite? I don't know, but we found them. All right, so I guess... Uh, oh, I keep doing that. I don't want to do that. Only one objective point. Also, Mike's shotgun not being as useful as maybe Mike thought it was going to be. He was making fun of us for our pointy stick, but who's laughing now, Mike? Who's laughing now? I wonder if this will kill me. We've already eaten them. We know. Ah! 
Oh, I got hit by a boulder. I think that, uh, that monkey is deliberately throwing them at me. Mm-mm. Who is this mysterious fellow? Is this possibly the person who has been writing the notes? Looking for his wiry girlfriend? Well, those bugs love that uh, sap. In that tree? Those would be the exploding bugs in that case. You probably don't want to get close to them if they're exploding bugs. So the exploding bugs love the, the tree sap. It's good, good for them. I guess that's good for them. I mean, really, we're not that concerned about exploding bugs in their tree sap. We're more... Ex we're more concerned about what's happening to Michelle. And maybe Mike, you know. Maybe we'll see how Mike's doing. Though they are following me pretty, uh... Pretty diligently. <laughs> the explosions were not that big. I like how this path up this hill is like really curvy. Now if I could just find a napkin. <laughs> so it should take just takes a lot longer than it should. Okay. Oh, no, those are just more exploding bugs over there. Oh, okay. Th th all right, that's that was it for that level. Uh, we could have gotten five oranges, killed a gorilla, and get 20 ant bombs. What does that mean, get ant bombs? Like, we found, like, the exploding bugs, but could we get them? How? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's save. I wonder if you hit them, like, could you, could you knock them out and pick them up? <clears throat> oh, look at this business here. A normal weapon won't have any effect on a nest this size. I guess we can't get past. Because we only I guess we only have normal weapons. Do we need some exploding ants possibly? We have our insecticide. This is not a normal weapon. This is a... It's a secret weapon. That's what, um... That's what Henry told us. A secret weapon. It doesn't seem like that's doing anything.
we have our scythe, which was not only a weapon, but it was a key item. And it makes damage things, but the bat did also. Well, it doesn't seem like there's any... It doesn't seem like we can advance past this point. Let's just check the map. <clears throat> yeah. Whoop. It doesn't seem like we can go past this. So the only thing to do is to go back. Alright, I guess this does confirm you can go back to the previous levels. All right, so we see a glowy point. That would be... Yeah, there was like a tree with some bugs around it. With explodey bugs. Explodey bugs. Oh, they're coming. The boys are coming. Well, what we need is past this tree on that path. <laughs> since there are explodey bugs around here, and since we know what they like, do, do we have what they like? Can we use the jar of honey to, to attract them? It's not actually giving us <laughs> it's not actually giving us like whoop, oh, like a not <laughs> so many explosions. Doesn't actually it's not actually giving us um a prompt on that tree. They come at you so quick. And they just keep coming back. Well, we could try the bug spray, but we... They're, like, on the ground, and our bug spray... We don't spray it down. I mean, maybe, like, the bug sprays... Uh, maybe it just affects a really wide area. Like, much wider than it looks like. It could be. I should slow down. Yep. Doesn't work on them. Well, maybe if they were, maybe if they were like in, like on a tree. Once they're, on, once they're on you like that, you can't get away. Maybe I should try eating the heart mushroom. Oh. Okay, yeah, it does seem like it was a, a health uh, max upgrade. Okay, that worked. Did it a little too early.
All right, well, now we're getting back to the spiders. I should slow down. All right, only one health mushroom left. So now we're back down here. Wait, I do think that we probably passed that... The, oh, it's them, yeah. I want to go through them. I think we passed that initial cutscene where we saw some explodey bugs on a tree. That was that one tree up here. I just wanted to take a look at that to see if maybe those bugs would have been on the tree and thus maybe... They could have been sprayed. Okay, here's a tree. Oh. There's a, if I go up to it, there's a prompt for spread honey. Is it just this tree that has that prompt? I don't see any bugs. Coming to enjoy some sweet honey. Do I still have the honey? I do. Could I do that on any of these trees? Yeah. I guess they spawn at that one tree at the top. I could just keep going up the hill, covering trees in honey as I go. Oh, here's one. Spread some honey. Is that one bug going to be attracted to it? Seems so. Let's see. Can we uh do do it like this? Did that work? It did work. Okay, we got an ant bomb. Okay, I guess it's in our weapons. It's not in our normal weapons. It's not a normal weapon, as we know. Ant bomb from a dead ant. Okay, now we have explosives. Basically, we have grenades. Also, the mini-map shows that we can do it on this one, I think? Yeah. Spread that honey. Our apparently infinite supply of honey. And they just keep coming. Have 
always wanted one of these. No, we haven't. You have not. I've always wanted one of these. Hey, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let me just check something here. I mean, we we figure we need to use those on, like, that hive in the next level. But there is a glowy point past the tree here. I wonder if we can throw a bug at a tree and explode it. Um, Are they still going to go to that, uh, honey? Hopefully. Ah! Nope, they're attacking me. Ah! Well. Ah, nuts. <laughs> nuts, he says. Okay, it can be blown up. Well, here's the bridge. Uh, we need a combination to open that. I got big spider. Big spider time. <laughs> I guess he's not going to let us pass, probably. Probably not. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think he was going to let us pass that. Spider was like, no, no. You can't do that. Not yet. Not until we get the anti-spider, uh, wh whatever it might be. Let's just see where it puts us. Puts us here. Alright. Um, we're probably just gonna reload our last saved game. since this was before I used all my healing items. So now we're going to go back, put honey on trees, and get bombs. Maybe we don't need to blow up that tree yet. Maybe we'll come back later to blow up the tree? Possibly? I don't know if- I don't know if we can get past that big spider. It didn't- I mean, it seemed like I wasn't able to walk past it, so maybe I have to find a way to kill that spider before we could actually get past the, the bridge. And I don't know if we have a way of doing that yet. So maybe we don't need to do that. Maybe we can just throw bombs at, at that hive-looking thing on the next level. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I have the wrong one. There we go. No, that's the bat.
Hey, what's this? I guess you can just keep spreading honey as many times as you want. I don't see any more coming right now. Well, okay. Let's just try out the, what we have on this hive thing. See what happens. We have finished the level a second time. Did we get a, a completion uh, screen every time we do that, even if we go back? All right. Let's, uh, for our throwing weapon, let's equip, equip nature's grenade. It looks so slimy. I don't know if anything's happening. Did not seem like it had any effect. So maybe we're not going that way after all. Maybe we should go back and top up on some bug grenades. It could possibly be it needed more. The tree needed, uh, it seemed like it needed two. Maybe we just need more bombs. Or maybe there's a weak point. It says we can't use a normal weapon, but what kind of weapon might do the job? You'd think that a bug, which is also a bomb, is not a normal weapon. You'd think so. But maybe we can find even more abnormal... Now we're talking. And maybe even more abnormal weapons. Maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to abnormal weapons. Who can say? Not many coming. Also pretty sure that we have not found a password. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We saw that briefcase that ne that needed a combination. Pretty sure we have not seen that. Oops. Yep, got it before it could explode. If I blow up that tree, I wonder if the bugs will just keep regenerating. I mean, you'd think so, because you gotta have these bugs. They're essential. Like, I, w I would imagine they would still keep coming back. They'd have to. Another one's coming. Might as well slather the honey. Get the bugs while the getting's good. Let's 
So, uh, that bonus objective was to get 20 of them, right? I've only got six of them at the moment. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, is he still alive? I think, so. I think he is. I think that's ten. Thrill to the ant bomb collecting sequence in Escape from Bug Island. The edge of your seat gameplay in the most the most terrifying horror game for the Wii. I mean, that's what it says on the back of the box. You can't get more frightening than Escape from... Not on the Wii, at least. You can't, on the Wii, you cannot get any more frightening than Escape from Bug Island. This is it. The pinnacle. That could come in handy. The thing that makes me hesitant is knowing that if we go fight that spider... Well, I mean, it checkpointed us right at the beginning of the bridge, didn't it? So, if we go fight the spider and I die, I suppose I will probably start there with all the bombs that I've collected. I th think that's probably going to happen. Probably. I'd, I would make me sad if I died and then, like, I didn't have, like, all this, I didn't have all this anymore. It would make me sad. I don't see any more bugs coming. All right. Well, I only have 12. Oh, here comes some. Are they? Or are they just hanging out on that tree? Beautiful. All right. So, let's see. A lot of spiders on that bridge. Let's try this time to kill the spiders because the spi there are just way too many. There's way too many. Way too many to deal with. We got to kill these spiders and then we can focus on what we're doing with the big spiders. With the big spider. There's only the one. Okay, so we can... Well, <laughs> okay, those... They're still coming. Even though they're behind me, they're still coming. As we know, we do not have we do not have the combination on this. But what could possibly be in there? Oh wait, what was that? Oh, mu there's a mushroom. Mushroom right here. Okay, there are more spiders on that bridge. Maybe we just deal with them before we get on the bridge and the big spider appears.
let's get a little health up. You know what's a fun thing about a game like this? Y usually in a game where if combat is going so badly for me, I can uh, make an assumption, all right, I must be doing something wrong. I can, I can assume that. This game, I really don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. Like when I get into a conflict like that, I'm thinking, is, that, is this how it's supposed to go? And honestly, I don't know. All right, big spider. Are there any more small spiders? Okay, yes. Yes, there are more small spiders coming this way. Come on. Come on. Right, I don't want any interruptions when we're looking at this big guy, at the big boy. I don't know, they're continuing to spawn from behind me. just want to have some time alone with the big boy. The small boys are not letting me do that. Okay, we, we know what's going to happen when I get up there. We've seen it already. Let's just have an orange. Mmm, citrusy goodness. Not that. Uh, so we're going to get up to that spider. He's going to try to block me from going through. Let's um, equip the bomb. Let's see if we can do this. That didn't seem like it did anything. Oh, no, no, it did. It did. Oh, Mike's there. I didn't even see him. Mike, no! 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 There goes Mike. Poor Mike. We knew him well, apparently. Apparently, we've been friends for some time. Okay. Uh, alternate way. Well, I'm probably not alternate. I guess we would have to have gone both ways, but this level has two exits. We've got 15 ant bombs in total, apparently. I'll save. Wiping it. Uh, let's go to another. Whoops. Go to a different file. Just, you know, to, you know, cycle through the save file. We should do that every so often. We're going on to Hillside. Poor Mike. But what happened to Michelle? She was dragged off by, uh... by a mysterious person that we have not seen before. Uh-oh. The entire place is shaking. What does that portend? Wow, this is a large one. Most of them have been quite small. This is much bigger. It's Garcian Smith's case? It's locked. March 6th. Well, I found my girlfriend. At least, I think it's my girlfriend. She recognized me right off the bat, bat and ran off into the woods. Yeah, I mean, that, that, make, that, that means it's my girlfriend. She saw me and ran away, so it's my girlfriend. I'm glad she's alive, but then that means that she still probably won't let me use her phone. Oh, well. There's a shed whose back door leads up into the hill ahead. I guess I should go look for the key to get through. Okay. Shed, back door, leads into hill. And we need to find the key to get through the back door. I 
wonder if this will kill me. It's an orange. It's no, we know it. What? Save that for the the mushrooms that look like hearts. Sandbag. Not here. Not here. Here? <laughs> Thanks. It's a bag filled with sand. Uh, okay, we can throw it as a weapon. That uh, that takes quite a lot of strength to be able to just throw a sandbag like that. Mango. You know, so I was just thinking, I felt like there was something off about the motion controls. And I just couldn't really figure out what it was. But now it occurred to me what it is, is that the motion controls aren't really motion. Like if you attack by swinging down, hold on. When you attack by swinging down, I'm swinging to the side. If I want to actually swing down, I pull down on the analog stick and then swing down. And if I want to swing up, I push up on the analog sit stick and swing down. Why wouldn't I swing up to swing up, swing down to swing down, and swing to the left and right to swing to the left and right? These aren't actually motion controls. It's just move the remote to do an unrelated motion. I couldn't really think about what it was that was bothering me about this, but that's, I think that's what it is. Anyway, why does it sound like everything's exploding and earthquaking around here? Oh, hello? Goodness. I don't think these are bugs. What? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh... Are these, like, dinosaur women? Like, what if, uh, velociraptors evolved into a more human form? I like how she's just kind of stuck there. Let's try our sandbag. Sandbag did not have that much of an effect. Also, it's a much smaller... Oh. It's a much smaller sandbag than I would have thought. She has purple blood, it seems. Kind of just kind of stuck there. Oh, she. Oh, what? She exploded into bugs. That co okay. I so that caught me by surprise. All right, so we have to make sure we're not standing near them when they die. All right, it's checking, checkpointing us here, which is good. I like how much trouble they have with going through doors. Like only one of them was able to manage it. Oh goodness, ma'am. Okay, let's get away and turn the... F oh, no, she's she's back up. Oh, there are two of them in here. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, orange? Maybe we could offer them some fruit. Okay, one down. Oh. Uh, she's going to explode into bugs. All right, let's get away. So I was not expecting uh, any an enemy like this. Uh, do we have a heart mushroom? I, I guess I didn't use this before the save. Mm. I thought we were dealing with bugs and the occasional giant monkey. But this is beyond what we expected. Oh, can I? It gave me a prompt, but now it does. I don't have the prompt anymore. There it is. Stab her with the bat. Okay, just waiting for the explosion. That explosion's gonna happen. Well, okay, maybe it's gonna take a little while. No, she's not exploding. I don't know what's going on. But all right. I'm going to I'm going to start swinging this bat and walking slowly towards you. If you get hit with the bat, it's your own fault. Okay, well we're out of the cabin. What a weird choice for a new enemy. All right, let's take a look at the map. We want to go to the to the east. Now I'm, I'm just saying. Escape from Bug Island, taking Jurassic Park in a bold new direction that they just not, they did not have the guts to do in the movies. We all wanted the Raptors to turn into women. Uh, and it's they they they'll never give the people what they wanted. They don't have the guts to do it. So Escape from Bug Island had to do it. All right. I probably should have used the sandbags against the Raptor women. That seemed pretty effective to stun them. March 7th. Apparently my girlfriend has taken up with a colony of Amazonian lizard women. I've decided that enough is enough. Unfortunately, it didn't go over so well when I tried to break it off, so I was forced to hit her in the face with a bag of sand and make my immediate escape. Call me callous, but I just can't envision in spending the rest of my life with a woman who eats bugs for lunch. Look. We're all going to have to eat bugs for lunch, you know, some point, like 20 years from now. We're all going to be doing that. So let's not pretend we're above it. It's good, you know. 
We just we have to do what we got to do, right? <clears throat> I mean, don't think you can. You don't think you're going to be able to eat the way you eat forever. Also, can, can is it? Are humans living with the Amazonian lizard women an option? I didn't know that was an option when we were fighting them. Like, if I had known that was an option, things, you know, I, I don't, th I think could have, things could have been a little different. Do they have, like, an application form? The Amazonian lizard women? Like, is there, like, some sort of, uh, I don't know, entry fee? No? I get, uh, let's see. I guess we're going north. Oh, yeah, the Rolly Boys. We met them once and then, like, just kind of ran past them. By the way, we still haven't gotten an answer as to why, like, this whole... Oh, he hello. Why this whole place seems to be rumbling and exploding. Tasty Island Cuisine. Mm-hmm. You know, all these cabins and such, and all these canned food l l being, l like, lying around, it seems to imply that there are a bunch of people living here at some point. Oh. Like, did all this just- all- did all- did all of this, everything that's happening, did this- <laughs> Look at how they run! Did all this just happen one day? Is there anything else over here? Oh, they, they, they were just following me. They've been following me this whole time. And there's so many of them. We got to be close to the village. I wonder if we'll meet the girlfriend... The infamous wiry girlfriend who lives with them now. I mean, I don't think it's her. <laughs> but we haven't seen her since the first... since the gorilla. Lynn? Robert! Oh, is she the wiry girlfriend? Lynn, what are you doing here? Looking for you, you jerk! All right. Well, I guess she found her boyfriend. Well, maybe he's not the guy who was writing the notes. Maybe it's someone else because he said his girlfriend was running away from him. March eighth. Something enormous lives under the sand. It reminds me of a monster in a movie I once saw. I'm not sure how we'll get past this one. I think maybe I should just turn around and head back, but then I'd have to face my ex-girlfriend, and we didn't part on the best of terms. I guess I'll take my chances with the sand monster. It's times like this when I wish I hadn't used all my grenades. Yeah, I mean, we all feel like that sometime or another. Man, I wish I hadn't used all my grenades. More sandbags. Can I not break that one there? Guess not. Oh, there's a light right here.
All right, so I assume this is the locked back door. It won't open. It's locked. Yeah. The guy writing the letters said that he needed to find the key. I can see them walking around out there. Hello. Yeah. Just filling out the map at this point. I can't run that way. Well, that little story segment we got about the two people meeting doesn't really mean anything for us. Uh, let's see. Huh, that's weird. There are no glowies at all here. Nothing glowing. There's something in Swamp. Why is the map for Swamp barely filled out? Really? We, did we just run right through it at some point? This was the first level, I think. Oh, maybe... No, this was the first level. That's strange, because usually it's been giving us glowies to show us where we need to go. And this, I think this is like the first time where we haven't seen one. Hmm. Well, maybe we should just keep walking around filling out this map. See if something happens. Right now I'm just doing, you know, running around the perimeter, filling out the edges of the map and see, you know, if we see anything is the idea. Was there like a path or anything oh, well, that, we, that we did not go down? Well, this path down over here leads to the previous level. Let's just keep going this way. So, I guess the only place that we haven't actually gone yet was that one level with the hive. Where we couldn't get past the hive and it said that a normal weapon won't get through this. Looks like a cave, but the rock is blocking the way. Strange how there are so many caves with rocks blocking the way. Maybe we'll get dynamite or something at some point to blow, the, blow up the rocks so we can travel through these caves. Because otherwise, I don't know why we've been seeing so many of them. kind of bad about killing the lizard women now that we know that like there's like a and they have an actual village in society you know maybe i wouldn't have done that there's like a like a faded part in the middle of the map maybe we well over on the um, the west side of it and also in like in the center there's sort of like a 
a faded out part. Maybe we can try going to those places and fill those out. Well, actually, no, I can... I think I see... ...that we probably just weren't able to get to those places. Or maybe can we go across this? Okay, there we go. This is where we haven't gone yet. There we go. All right. Now, is this where we need to be? Is there anything up here for us? Oh, it's a heart mushroom. Okay. All right. So I guess this was like a little bonus location to get a heart mushroom. I don't think this is advancement, though. So I'm pretty sure we filled out this whole thing except for the north, but we can't get through the cabin because uh, it's the back door is locked. And we're not we don't have any objective glowies on this level. I think we just probably have to go back. <sighs> you know, if you really had this much trouble balancing on the thing, you could just go down on all fours. It's probably the safer way of doing it. I, we don't have to balance beam it, is what I'm saying. Here's a purple mushroom, but the only time we ever took one of these, it, it decreased our health. I don't know if that's what it does every time, because the description of it says that we won't know what it does until we take it. Could it possibly do positive things? I don't know. Also, while we're here, um, why don't we actually just try to throw a bug bomb at this? Let's see if that actually does anything. I'm guessing no, because it just bounced right off. All right, let's go back. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a, a cutscene when we go back since we got a cutscene in this level. We got one heart mushroom. We did not kill five lizard women, though. Oh, the bridge is out, yeah. Does that mean we can't go back? Yeah, there's a big X right there. All right, so it's telling us that we can't actually go back. Pretty sure. And I don't think there's any like other paths around here.
So I guess the the way forward is I guess it is through this level. Even though we've gone through this level and didn't find an exit. Here, oh, hold on. Can we climb? There's some boxes here. Cl let's climb to the roof. Whoops. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Anything up here? New kind of fruit. I don't think there's anything here for us to look at. Don't see anything else up here either. I just, I gotta look around and just make sure though, because this is the only place. It seems like this, oh, hold on, what's this? It's nothing. I was about to say, is just like a little door going down into the thing? It's nothing. Yeah, this is like the only place in this area that I, we haven't looked at and doesn't seem like anything's happening up here. You know, when we came in this level, uh, it seemed like um, how everything is rumbling and exploding seemed like something ha pretty immediate was happening. And it turns out, no, no, it's just, it's just going to keep doing that. It's just going to keep doing that. Don't worry about it. We've already looked in here. What is this, by the way? Let me, uh, it's like a fireplace. We don't have an option to like light it up or anything. Oh, and there's also this over here, but we don't have the key to open it. It's locked. I didn't break these. Oh, can I not break these? I guess I can't break these. Seems not. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's use our first... Let me use our first person perspective to look around. Is there... Any... Anything? I don't think I can break barrels. Hmm. Again, I know I've said it before, but I am a bit puzzled as to how things have kind of changed. Previously up to now in the game, we've been following glow points to show us where to go. But right now we're in this level. We can't go back and there are no glow points. We know there's a case inside this cabin, but it's locked. We can't open that. There's a back door to that cabin up there. It goes into a hill. That's locked. We can't do that. We uh, saw a cutscene where two people met each other. And then, then they left. And that was kind of the last thing that happened. All right, I guess we'll go up. You know, we don't actually 
have to go on this, do we? We can just, like, take the, the path long way around. Seems odd that there's an optional one of these. Anything around the cabin. Miss, I don't suppose you know where the next uh, objective point is, do you? I seem to be having trouble figuring it out. I wonder if this will kill me. So, of course, we have been in here. Was there anything else in here? I don't think there was. There's nothing here. There is a safe point over here. There's this door back here. It's locked. And hitting it will not work, because that never works. Hmm... I, at least I com I completed the objective to destroy 10 wooden boxes. I did that. Uh, nothing past that tree, I guess. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah. We always did. And this is back going over that bridge. Did I go over this one? I didn't go over that one. That I that's what I missed. I ran into that roly boy. I can't concern myself with the roly boy now. What I have to concern myself with is going back to the first cabin and opening up Garcia and Smith's case so I can get the guns of the Killer 7. That would really help me out right now. I use the key to the trunk. Hmm? Ooh. I found barn key. All right. Let's have a look at this machete. Can chop thick eye. Okay, so there was that previous level where we did see the thick ivy. It was next to the thin ivy. I guess we'll make our way back there at some point. Let's have a look. I mean, it swings just like every other weapon swings. What did you expect? All right. Uh, we also got the barn key, which I, as I assume that's the back door to the other cabin. Let's just have a look at it. 
It's a key found in a trunk. What do you want? A key for a trunk. What do you expect? He found a riverside path. Here's another key up here. Key for Harry's bag. All right. I like how it doesn't seem like there's any villain in the game. Like, there's no Umbrella Corporation or anything like that. It's just, man, check out this weird island. Look how messed up this island is. Can you believe it? You better get, you better escape from Bug Island. We unlocked it with Barn Key. All right. There's a cave. Let's just take a look at our map. Okay, we're going northwest. I'm sure there'll be nothing in our way. Ah, we ran into a boss fight. Do we have to do the boss fight? That cave seemed like it was just open. Oh, no! Well, I guess we survived. And that, uh, that... Could that have gone differently? I don't know. Who was that guy? I guess it doesn't matter? Uh, before we go through the cave, I guess let's go around the map and see if there's any, like, health items or anything to pick up. Like, that guy seemed like he might be important. He did drag, uh, Michelle away. We don't know where he put her. Um... And clearly, those two knew each other. But they're dead now. Oh, there's more explodey boys. So don't worry about it. I'm sure you... Well, okay. I'm sure if we keep going, we'll find out where Michelle went. I just wanted to fill out that map. Yeah, there we go. Ten wooden boxes, one heart mushroom. I could have killed two more lizard women, and I would have gotten that bonus condition. 141 fragments. Yeah. Yeah, let's save. Let's save a game.
I probably should turn my flashlight on. <laughs> Why does it look like that? All right, I guess that I guess it wasn't a big deal. Let's have a look at the map. Let's see if we got any glowies on this map. We're at, we're in the cave to the peak. I guess the peak is where we're going. No glowies. I guess let's just uh, go along this map and fill it out. As usual, take the left turn first. I can hear it coming. Oh, I want to turn the flashlight off. Oh. Weaker. I thought it wouldn't they wouldn't know me since uh my flashlight was off. I thought that would be fine. Usually, in the, when the flashlight's turned off, it seems like that they'll just they'll just leave you alone. Whoop! Hold on. All right, let's just turn this off. I mean, the game looks so bad when the flashlight's off. That's why I have it on. It looks, you know, recognizable, the shapes on screen when the flashlight's on. When the flashlight's off, it looks like this. All right, well, there was something at the end of that cave. I guess let's go back. I think it might have been a heart mushroom. We probably should get those. So is that dog following us? And yeah, there's someone up there. First, let's go down here. Let's see if we can get past the swarm. Yeah, heart mushroom. These lizard Amazons need to keep their dogs leashed. And he moves around so much. <laughs> Just knock him out of the air. Right, 
Let's try the left again. Is that not a sound of an enemy seeing me? I wonder if this is just part of the, the soundtrack? Oh, hello. Hold on, hold on. Well, we know what to do against them. Let's, um... Equip the sandbags. And, uh, we might as well. How, uh, breadfruit is large health. I, we don't need to use it for this. There we go. Whoop. It is, it's just, it's difficult to aim. There we go. Well, aim quickly is the thing. There we go. Oh, right. She might explode into bugs, so back off. Oh, it's a box. All right, I'll, t I'll take it. I guess that's a dead end here. Didn't, uh, didn't seem to stun her. No? She seems quite resistant to all these. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. You do have to aim precisely. I guess they felt instead of just throwing the sandbag at her, instead of that being enough, you do have to hit her right in the face with it. You want that precise aiming action in Escape from Bug Island. It's what you want. You think when they designed the Amazon women, do you think like part of the um, character designed was the sexy walk? Or do you think when the animator debuted that animation, everyone else was surprised? So uh, can't help but notice, she just, she, the, um, the lizard people, they sure do swish their hips when they walk, don't they? Yeah? And? No, no, I guess, I guess nothing. I just noticed it. I don't think anyone told you to do that. 
Well, yeah, I just took I just took the initiative myself. Bonus cleared. Right, this is a round room. Is there anything else in here? Maybe not. Maybe it was just, uh, this room was just getting that purple mushroom. But I'm very hesitant to actually use those. after the first one. Tasty Island Cuisine. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Man, remember Mike? Remember the good times we had with him? And now he's dead. Shame that. how many purple things you need to get for something good to maybe happen again the manual did say getting enough of the purple things might make something good happen we've gotten a few but how many does one need for something good to happen well who can say these caves kind of go kind of go on for a while don't they you want some cave action? Here you go. You want to escape from bug caves? We got caves. We got caverns. We may even have some passages. Well, it does appear that we're working our way to the north. Mm-mm. How did this can of spinach get all the way in here? Like, what is that sound? It sounds like an enemy sees me, but there's no enemy around. Okay, I guess it was him, but he didn't even see me. Maybe he heard me. Maybe he has sensitive hearing. Also, it said this is the path to the peak. What might we find on the peak? Is the peak even a place we want to go to? It's hard to say. Oh, we're heading on out. Did we make it to the peak? Cave to the peak completed. Get some barbed wire? I did not get any barbed wire. If I did, would we like combine it with the bat to get the barbed wire bat? Okay, so canine men is the name of that enemy. We almost killed enough to get the bonus condition. But we did kill five lizard women. Yes. Yes, we will save. Temples next. 
Yes, of course, the temple. That is where we're going. Of course, we were going to the temple of Bug Island. Where else would we be going? All right. I think enough time has passed for a little bit of a break. Just to, you know, slow down this breakneck pace. This excitement machine that is Escape from Bug Island. My pulse going a mile a minute. I have to take a breather. You know, get get refreshed. And uh, I guess we've been at it for like four hours now. Just about. So um, take a little break. We're going to continue on with this masterpiece. This Mona Lisa of a game. Let us continue on. We've made it to the temple. The temple of what? Yep, that's, this is a temple if I've ever seen one. That's what this is. All right, there is, we see a couple glowies ahead. Maybe we should um examine the west and east before we go up the stairs, see if there's any items around. Oh, hey, remember these friends? The mantises. We met them back at the start. I always wanted a sandbag of my very own. Now, I guess we have to leave those. Well, I mean, we could double back around for them. Island cuisine. And the mantis the mantis is on the cover of this game. And uh oh, many boxes here. They really have not been around all that much throughout the game itself. What's the expiration date on this? I know it's been mentioned by people in the chat, but calling this island Bug Island really does seem to, um, you know, undersell what's happening here. And so there are big, bu there are like rare bugs on that island. Oh, yeah. You've never seen bugs like these. Anything else on that island? No. Nothing worth mentioning. Can we open this? Let's just see. We can. And before we go in, let's look around. Okay, this one's locked. Here comes a swarm. They're just gonna hang out around there? Can I get- yeah, okay, I can get that thing, I think. Oh, nuts. It wasn't worthwhile. 
Oh, they're right here. All right, I guess they left. All right, we we did we got took that damage to get the spinach. Let's eat the spinach. Nom nom nom. I guess the things we need are in these rooms. There's a door, yeah, over here. Oh, a bed. Like a little, uh, room to take a nap in, if we so chose. Oh, yeah, these are not boxes that you can break. Those are just scenery boxes. Ahem. <clears throat> March 9th. I found a key. At least I think it was a key, seeing as I dropped it when I was running from some giant mantis bugs outside. I've taken up hiding in a huge temple. I was hoping there would be someone here, someone with a helicopter or a flamethrower, but no luck there. I suppose I can make my way back down the mountain and try to swim home. All right, well, unfortunately, he dropped a key somewhere. It's hard to keep, uh, hard to keep those keys in your fingers. They, they slip out very easily. It doesn't look like this can be open from here. No, it doesn't look, does it not look like that? Does it really not look like it can? Like that swarm is still down there. Are there any other doors? It doesn't look like it. For whatever reason, it doesn't look like this door can be opened from here. Where does it look like it can be opened from? Can we, like, is there a secret door or something? I don't think we saw a back door to that room when we went out here. No, it does not look like it. Now, like, he could definitely just pull himself over this. He could, he could just do that. There's nothing stopping him from doing that. I suppose we could, like, throw something to open the door. Can we, like, get a look at what's in there? I mean, there's, like, something there. I wonder if that is a target. Uh, I should probably equip a rock. A little low. Still a little low. It's a little high. No, I think that's too low. All right, that hit it, but it didn't seem to do anything. I thought it was like a like a little like a pressure plate or something. What about that? Right there. No, didn't hit, didn't do anything. 
I feel like the, the fact that we're looking through this window means that we should be able to do something here. So many sandbags. Finding sandbag after sandbag. Replenish my rock supply. Oh, what's this? It's that symbol we've been seeing now and again. Probably no reason to hit that. Let's fill in the map in the middle here. Also, something in the corner. Okay, no, no. The map does show there's like a, a hallway past this. If we could roll this out of the way. I guess we'll just keep that in mind. Okay, let's go back. Well, we can't go down that hallway because of the swarm. Thought I saw something. Maybe not. All right, that one's locked. Looks like you can set something in this. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get... No, not that. Let me back off and see if we can get a first-person view of it. Yeah. Right, we don't have anything that would go in there. Okay, we didn't try going in here yet. I like how these bugs are making the sounds of, like, eagles. Oh, okay, now, now the battle music started. Oh, because that saw me, okay. Something there. Hey, 
What's this? It's a lance. Get a lance. All right, I guess we have a new weapon. Heavy lance, place it. Okay, equipping this will unequip the flashlight. I guess this is a two-handed weapon. Oh, wait, did I not equip it? There it is. And Mike would be so impressed if he could see this and he wasn't dead. All right, let's see. Mm. Guessing it's probably the only thing in here. We should tape the flashlight to the lance. So this weapon does double duty as both weapon and light source. All right, well we have a big new weapon. That look we look completely ridiculous holding that. All right, there is a new Okay, we were already there on the on the west side, but there is a glowy there now. I think we've been everywhere else that we can go to. It is certainly stronger than the other weapons we've been using. Hmm? Oh, that- okay, yeah, they're coming from there. Forgot about the tree nests. The birthing trees. You know that bit in the story where the hero has to face the original threats that he faced, but now he's been through the adventure and he's stronger and more experienced, and then he just takes down those old threats very easily, showing the growth that he's gone through throughout the adventure. That's clearly Ray's moment right here with the Mantis. We got the Mystic Plate. That looks tasty. You know, like the, the scouring of the Shire. This is Ray's scouring of the Bug Island. Ray will leave Bug Island a better, more mature person due to his adventure. I mean, everyone else is dead, but Ray's doing okay. Here's this. Put it in. We set the mysterious plate in it. Looks like it's unlocked. Oh, hey, we finally found Michelle.
Oh no! Oh, she was in that that room. The room we couldn't go into. Well, at least Michelle got that open for us. All right. Um, what's what 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 was in here? I guess since we were in here, she completely Michelle completely missed us. Okay, but we got spinach. <clears throat> so I guess that guy who got killed by the worm. I guess this was his HQ. You can see, like, some microscopes and, you know, science stuff. He was sciencing. Sciencing it up. But was it good or evil science? I mean, I see jars here full of specimens. Possibly evil science. I don't know. Well, let's head back to the backyard. Oh, actually, we can go into her room now. That door will be open. Okay. Yeah, she didn't have to run outside. Like, seems like the worst place to go, honestly. March 10. I slept at the temple last night. The beds were cozy, but after checking out some of the statues in the courtyard, I was a little frightened that they would fall over and crush me in my sleep. I can't help but feel a little sad about the last few days. It's strange to have come this far, and for what? In any case, I suppose I shouldn't dwell on what's happened. It's not as if I can change the past. Besides, in some ways, I'm probably better off. There are strange noises outside the window now. I should go out and see what they are. Could it be that person who lives here? If so, then perhaps I can finally make my escape from Bug Island. We, there it is. We got the title drop. Honestly, at this point, the title of the sh oops, the title of the game should now appear on the screen, and like really fast heavy metal music should start playing as we run out into the back of the temple. Oh, is Monkey still out here? He might be. But do we even have to fight Monkey? I mean, he opened the door for us. Now we can just go in here. Get a lance. We did it. Kill 15 praying mantises. We did not do that. Kill giant gorilla. We did not. I like how we haven't actually killed a single gorilla yet. We fought one, and then that gorilla ran away because he was attacked by bugs, but we haven't actually killed any of them. I mean, I'm fine with that. And the next level is the Cave of Time. Nope, 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 that's going back to the previous level. <laughs> I did not do anything. Okay, just ha 
That just instantly made us go back to the previous level. I did see that one of the objectives was to save Michelle in a certain amount of time. I guess if you want to know what those bonus objectives are before you even do the level, you could do it. You could do that, and then you know what you're going for. All right, we're back in an exploding level. Everything's exploding. Oh, ne the Necro Notes. We got the Necro Notes. There's a bookmark. The island of Beelzebub exists at the focal point of one of the active, most active geological areas in the world. The constant volcanic activity has created a complex chain of caves beneath the island's surface. The constant flow of molten lava beneath these caves combines with the strong conductivity of the surrounding rocks. This leads to an intense irregularity of the area's magnetic field. This not only has an enormous effect on the ecological advance of the island's insect life, but has been rumored to create a fluctuating warp in the fabric of space and time. Scientists theorize that it is possible for bodies that pass through this bend in time at specific intervals. However, the accuracy of these statements has not yet been proven. Uh-huh. A cave that connects the past and the present sounds like a fairy tale. So this is the kind of book Michelle is into. All right, well, you heard it. This is the island of Beelzebub. And it connects, uh, points in time. Mm. Ah! Oh no, we're not falling. <clears throat> oh, oh wait, is there like a dog? I hear the sound of like a dog monster. Oh, on the other side of that bridge. Okay. Oh, oh the, you can actually be hit by rocks. I thought that was just like window dressing. But no, the rocks can hit you. All right, let's try it again. Let's try going faster. <laughs> Maybe let's not try going faster. <clears throat> Okay, I guess we're watching out for... So, most of the time, I've had my eye... Okay, that was that was close enough to hit me. Most of the time, I've, ha I've been staring at the meter at the bottom, but clearly I cannot do that here. Because there's, like, an effect of, like, dust falling down, foreshadowing the rocks. So I have to look at the entire screen as opposed to staring at the meter. <clears throat> Right. So, uh, losing our balance is going to result in death. Because I will not be able to back up when a rock is about to fall. So, even though making a mistake means that you can try to recover by getting your balance back, you will not have enough time to do that in this one. The true boss fight of balance beams.
Oh. I thought I would be able to back up from that one. Ah, went too fast. I gotta go slow so that doesn't happen. I gotta just creep forward very slowly. Watch out for the shadows of the rocks. Ah. I was not... Eh. I'm glancing up and down between the meter and the rock shadow. Yes, I have to, like, unfocus my eyes to try to see everything at once. little too fast. Gotta go even slower. Uh, what? Oh. So is that one going to hit me? Yeah, that one hit me. So I do have to move... I do have to back up sometimes. I could... Tr like, the second time I tried this, I did try to do it as fast as possible. I could try that again. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's two of them. Two might be a problem. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to back off from this. Oh, there's something there? Oh, there, there are some boxes. Try a breadfruit. Num num num. Let's have a look at that map.
Oh, this is a really, um... This is a, ta a taller level than we have seen from some other levels. We don't have a glowy. I guess we'll just hang to the left. Oh. How's he comboing me like this? Hmm? Oh, there's a bug. That's a very good camera angle. Have a mango. Mmm. We haven't been using many rocks, but, you know, let's fill up, let's top up our supply. Michelle? Ray! Oh no, Michelle! Stand still, Michelle. I'm going to just slash all these bugs all around you. Hopefully I don't hit you with this. There's, there's this one. There's one that's not coming down. There we go. Oh, I think I got the bonus objective. Are you okay? Yes. I think... Ray, you came to save me! Look, I'm not sure what these fumes are, but I think we have to get out of here right away. I'm sorry, we plan to come back sooner, but... Wait, isn't Mike with you? Uh, I'm sure he's fine. Seriously, we should probably be going now. I don't know why we're hiding Mike's death from from her yes you're right we have to get out of here go look for mike right here let me help i'm all right i can walk oh i almost forgot i found this near the entrance to the cave it's yours right we gave necro notes thank you I think there's a section about this cave in the Necronauts. It's called the Cave of Time. People used to say that this cave could send you back and forth through time. Cave of Time? I don't know. That sounds kind of dumb. You could try being a little more open-minded. 
and I just saved you from giant mutant bugs so you could be a little nicer. I'm sorry. Here, take this. If I don't make it back to camp, you might need it. We received Michelle's bag key. Where's, where's her bag? Is it back at camp? Ray! You shouldn't say stuff like that, you know? Mike told me he loved me. Uh, you don't think he was serious, do you? You really think Mike could, because he's pretty cute and all, but... Uh, just shut up, okay? We need to go now. Mm. Oh, okay. We saved Michelle in 30 seconds. Um, I guess we're going back. I should take a look. Oh, is she coming with us? Okay, we have someone. We're escorting someone for the first time. Is there anything around here? I can't climb this. I just have to go forward. All right. Uh, Michelle, I, I have to... I have to be honest with you, I was going to confess my love to you, but, well, over the course of this adventure, I met some, I met some very special lizard women, and honestly, Michelle, my tastes have changed. Well, maybe we can discuss that back at camp. This is a pretty wide open looking area that we're walking into here. spiders can attack her. Maybe I don't need to worry about that. Well, she's not moving from there. You doing all right? Kind of stand, gonna stand there. I mean, I guess I can keep just killing spiders if. Okay, I, I got a bon Michelle, I got a bonus. I killed 15 spiders. Well, she's just standing there. I can't talk to her or anything. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, is she good? Okay, she, now she's now she's following. Hey. hey. Oh no, be, be coming. Hey, hey, indeed. All right, here she comes. Maybe we should take a look at this map. Uh, I guess we're just continuing to go north. <laughs> nope, she's coughing again. Hey. Hey. Do we just have to wait for her to catch her breath? I'm not- I, I don't know how this works. <sighs> mm. 
Uh, Michelle, I'm just gonna like eat a sweet orange. Do you want one? Mmm, orange. Num num num. I guess we're just- are we gonna stand here? It didn't give me an option to, like, give her an orange. Should I just go on ahead, or...? Okay, I guess she's coming. of a black hole. We have to leave. Let's get the hell out of here. If you look down, it feels like you'll be sucked in. Come on, Michelle. We came here for scientific discovery. Clearly, it's our destiny to jump inside. I mean, we came here to, to make this, to discover things, right? Well, what, el what else is here to find, but not this? All right, I guess we won't jump down into the hole. Um, is there somewhere else to go, though? I guess that was Beelzebub. Okay, we completed the level. That was the best we've done because we got all the objectives. Got the heart mushroom, save Michelle in 30 seconds, kill 15 spiders. We're, uh, we're on our way to being masters of escape from Bug Island. Uh, and we met Beelzebub and everyone died? Every, okay, what could, I'm on the edge of my seat to find out what happens next. Michelle! Huh? Hey, kid. Sleep well? What? You 
knocked out a while back. Has anyone ever told you you talk in your sleep? It was something about a lizard woman? Uh, like you were having a nightmare or something. Uh, a nightmare? Well, he did scream a few times. Probably dreaming about bugs. Maybe he was dreaming about a girl. I don't want to talk about it. A giant man eating bugs. Don't be silly, Mike. There's no such thing. It was nothing. It doesn't matter. Ray, where did you find that keychain? What? Oh, I, I must have picked it up somewhere. That's strange. I have the exact same one. I carried on my belt, see? Huh? A ladybug? No wonder you were having nightmares. <laughs> what does that mean, Mike? What, what does that mean? I think it's cute. You think everything's cute, like that creepy millipede thing. You got rid of it, right? Was it really just a dream? Anyway, Michelle, that thing you were talking about, you go ahead and think on it. All right. What thing were you talking about? Oh, it was nothing, just stuff. Yeah, none of your business stuff. Hey, back off. Don't worry about it, Ray. Mike and I just needed to talk. Sorry, I guess my hand slipped. Hey. <laughs> and the nightmare continues. Mike, can we go for a walk? I need to clear my head. What? No, no, it's dangerous out there. Don't be silly, Ray. There's nothing out there that'll hurt us. He nothing at all here on Bug Island. This can't be happening again. Oh, Ray, could you keep an eye on fire? This is even worse than my nightmare. Oh no, we've traveled back in time to the beginning of the game. They're not back yet. Out of all my dreams, why does this one have to come true? I guess I'll just let them be. No, I should go find them. I still... Okay, I, I have my halberd, so I don't know why we think it was a dream. I have my giant spear. I have all my stuff. What? I still don't understand this. We haven't found anything else that goes in the equipment slot. But one thing that's different... Let's see, we have Michelle's key. Uh, oh no, there it is. Key, Michelle's bag key. Key for Michelle's bag. So if her bag is here at camp, can we rifle through her stuff? Yep, that's her bag. Could this be the key? Use the key to Michelle's bag. This is the gun that Mike made Michelle carry. Did, did Michelle have a gun? I don't remember that ever, ever seeing. Oh. We found a handgun. We found a pocket light. We found a box of handgun bullets. Okay, uh, let's, let's introduce the gun controls. Guns can only be used in first person view. Equip a gun and hold the A button to change the first person view. 
Press the B button to shoot. All right. Well, I, I guess we would have to equip the gun. I mean, probably should save. Man, getting tutorials for new weapons this far in. Oh, that's how we get the bag. It was impervious to rocks, but not impervious to bullets. Is it go under a throwing weapon? No. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's... Well, I don't want to actually use any bullets, unless I have to. We only have the 15. But that's how that works. That's still the only accessory. Okay, now we have- now it's really now it's really a survival horror game because we have the flashlight that you can wear in a pocket on your chest. That's how you know. Okay. Now we can use lance and flashlight. I mean, I assume we're just going to be going the same direction we did the first time round. <clears throat> no glowies, but yeah, I would assume we're just, we're going to the exit of the level. At the very least, we have to get back to that bag. And also, we never did, um... We never did find a way past that, like, hive thing. It said that we would not be able to get past it with a conventional weapon. So those are two loose ends that we did not do anything with. Man, that, that flashlight is swinging back and forth, isn't it? I like how Michelle and Mike didn't notice our giant spear. I mean, come on, come on. But Michelle did notice that we were holding a key that looked just like hers. There we go. That uh, our, we got through the level. Phew! Well, just barely. Yeah, sure. We'll save. <clears throat> so now that we're going through uh this again i assume and we know what we know how could we possibly defeat beelzebub the lord of the flies you seem like a pretty hefty boy do we need to get some sort of holy weapon to 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 defeat him I mean, we have a gun, but it would be a little surprising if that was enough to do it. Like, when you're talking about a story in which there is some sort of, uh, some sort of horrible beast 
some sort of horrible creature beyond your comprehension. You wouldn't think just like, you know, a gun would do it. Get in here. What is that? Okay. We're finding ammo for the gun. Actually, there's still a red spark. Is there something else? I mean, there is the, uh, a lantern. Maybe I should just turn it on and save just so that marker goes away. Just to make sure that there's nothing else in here. I still see a red marker here. Is there something in here? Well, not in here anyway. I think we went up here the first time and there wasn't anything. Is that new? <laughs> okay. All right, so a gun may not kill Beelzebub. Maybe a grenade will. I should probably take a look at the map and see if there are any glowies. Uh, no, nothing standing out. So many sound effects of enemies seeing us. Anything new in here? Oh, yeah. There's bullets. I guess that's the, uh, the, okay, no. What we want is this little, well, actually, let me just check the map. Yeah, we want to go to the to the west. What an odd coincidence to be playing Silent Hill 4 right now. And it turns out that this game is apparently doing a similar thing. This is where those two people were, weren't they? Are they in here now? Try explaining it in English this time. That's easier said than done. <laughs> yep, this is uh the same so far. It's just like my dream. What's going on? This is this is like your dream? Uh I don't know if I like the sound of that. I could uh, I don't know, I could be into it. You're no help at all, Harry. I'm an entomologist, not a plastic surgeon. This is beyond weird. Hi, I'm looking for some friends of mine though. Actually, I already know that you haven't seen them. I don't know why I'm asking this. I know you haven't seen them. 
We've only seen huge bugs so far. It's possible that, yeah, we, we already knew the answer. You guys have got to get out of here. You're going to be killed by a giant monkey. Oh, sure. I want to end up like some giant bug's lunch. Sounds great to me. You're a man, aren't you? Go out there and fight them, tough guy. That isn't in my job description. Hey, if I take care of the bugs in that area, you think you can make it out of here? You think you can handle them all on your own, kid? It's pointless. I saw a nest on the way here. Even if you kill some of them, they'll just keep coming. Leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. Again. Uh, well, you can't be more useless than this brainless baboon. Who's brainless? You better hope he hurries back or I'll kill you myself. You two seem like such a nice couple. Ha, he's just a hired help. My fiancé is currently missing. Probably just got fed up and ran away. Okay, you two, I'll be back in a while. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and uh, Lynn, watch out for giant worms. Okay, kill everything in the area? Is there anything in particular it wants me to go after? Or just, I don't know, every... Okay, there's a glowy up there. See the nest over there. It's plopping out these mantises. Collect all these purplies. The purplies that will make something good happen eventually. Or so the manual says.
So at the beginning there, when we restarted, uh, we never asked Michelle about those notes in her book talking about, you know, Beelzebub and how the cave can link points in time and how that seems like a bit beyond what you might expect from, uh, I don't know, an expedition into rare bugs. I wonder what she thinks about those things. Hmm. <clears throat> I did it! I took care of everything! You guys need to- <laughs> Damn! I'm too late! <laughs> oh no, is Harry's death a fixed point in time? Is it something that cannot be changed? That would be terrible. I'm sure that everyone will wait for me to eat a delicious mango. Well, I don't know if we're going to save uh, Harry, but hey, we got the bonus. All right, hold on. Let's try out our gun. We have not used it yet. Because the spear does not seem to actually be affecting him. Let's get a better viewpoint. There it is. I did it. I got away. Did you see that? I was amazing. Uh, yeah. Where'd your friend go? What? She escaped without me? You should get out of here, too, while you have a chance. I took care of the mantis nest, so you should have an opening. How did you pull that off? Oh, I hid it with stuff until it fell down in a pile of ooze. Pretty gross, really. That's so crazy, it just might work. It did work. We, we did it. It did work. That's how we got rid of it. Anyway, I need to find my pals. Well, they might have gone ahead up the mountain. If you take the secret mountain passage, you might be able to cut them off. Are you sure you didn't see them? You seem to know an awful lot, dot dot dot. You dare to accuse a scientist of my stature being anything but helpful? I'm just wondering what kind of sick experiments you've been performing on this island. For all I know, you made all of these mutant bugs. I've only been here a day myself, and these bugs are not the product of experiments. It's freak evolution. Nothing special. Oh, then why are you here? Corporations will look anywhere for an opportunity to make money. I guess they think they can find treasure in garbage. I was hired to help calculate the medical research value of the island. My scientific conclusion is that there isn't any. Michelle won't like to hear that. Look, I'm going to head to the boat. You're welcome to come if you change your mind. Thanks, but I've got to save Michelle. Alright, so I guess we're... We are, in our second play of Escape from Bug Island, we are putting right what once went wrong. We are going, I guess we're going to save the people who died the first time round. Oh, that's a, a good, okay, there we go. I was about to say that's a good perspective.
I mean, if he wants to know about the uh, potential medicinal value of the island, maybe we could have told him about, about the time travel hole. Did you know about the time travel hole? Like, who knows what's possible with that? All right, level done. We killed 20 praying mantises. We did not get two treasures in the cave. Could we go in the cave? The caves are, have always been blocked off. But could we like use could we have gone in there? Maybe we could have used the grenade to go in there. Well, since uh, the boss fight is done, might as well equip our spear back. The glowy, only glowy on this so far. Or actually, I say the only glowy's up there, but the the whole thing with the two of those, with those two people, ah, with those two people, uh, that it was not indicated with a glowy on the map, which is kind of odd. Because you would have thought that, you know, you would have thought that uh, there would have mentioned something about like the map would have said to go to that cabin. But it didn't. So maybe... Oh, is that something? Yep. What's the expiration date on this? Maybe we should, you know, look at the cabins as we go by just to make sure. To make sure that there's nothing that we miss here. I don't know what would have happened if we had just gone for the exit of the level without going to that cabin. Uh, oh, so squishy. So squishy. Oh, a hole. A glowing hole. I want to put my hand in that hole. Oh no, my hand is being grabbed. Okay, so uh, is there like a chance? I guess not every mysterious hole will be a friendly hole. Some mysterious holes will hurt you. Like the first time we found a glowing hole, we found a mushroom in it. This time we only found damage. Oh, ah. 
our favorite friend, the swarm of bugs. That just tears us to pieces. Num num num. Well, probably was not worthwhile to do that. Let's eat some food. Makes me laugh every time we see it. Oh, right. for some balance beam action. Oh, this time we can... This, can we be attacked this time? Yep. We can be attacked on that thing. Trying it again. Whoop. There it is. So, I believe this is the stage with the bag in it. Oh, hello.
Okay, let's look for that bag. Okay, so it's reminding us about the bag. We have no idea what's in that bag. We just wrote a note. We just saw a note from someone saying that they wish they could get the they could get the bag. But we absolutely know. I think we have absolutely no idea what what is in that bag. And we're going to make proper. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. We're going to make proper use of a gun, which is to shoot down bags that are in trees. Everyone knows that uh, that is the way that you do that. Oh, I think I need to turn the flashlight on for this. There we go. Oh, get a little closer. Let's try to... Uh, oh, it's so difficult. Oh, there we go. What is in the bag of mystery? Uh oh, a grenade. That's all? That's all. That was the only thing in the bag. But why is it so important... That we, uh... That we get that. Like, it made, it made a big deal of the bag. So the grenades must be a big deal. Actually, let me look... Let's look at what the description of the grenades is. Grenade. Powerful, but dangerous weapon. And we do have 11 of them. So we don't just get one grenade when we find one. We find we get many. Oh, and on the other side of this tree, isn't it where the vines are? We can get to those thick vines that apparently the machete can cut. Oh, well, it's not not there. It's up here. There's so many bugs here on Bug Island. If only Bug Island just had a few less bugs. Oh. Not the not the knife, uh machete. And let's have... Just have an orange. Mmm, citrusy goodness. sharp blade to cut these. Would you look at what's on the screen right now? And this calls for a mango. We did it. Just needed one more. We cut the vines and unblocked the path. Alright. Oh, there's another... There was a cave in this level as well. I am missing these caves. I 
I guess we could always go back for the caves if we wanted. Important to find cave treasures in Escape from Bug Island. How could you complete the game without getting all the cave treasures? All right, where did we come from now? Come to. The swamp. All right, so we were only in a little bit of this. I guess this must be the level with like that hive that we couldn't get past. So now I guess we've entered that level from a different direction. So new friends to meet. I should probably equip the spear back. got lizard women. Lizard women are here. Is that a shiny hole? Everyone, everyone, stop. I have to put my hand in this hole. Everyone, just give me a second. That was another damage hole. The hole was a damage hole. I can't believe I'm being betrayed by these holes. Oh, okay. This is a, a balance beam. I wonder if this is the, uh, the, the lizard women's home. Oh, no. not what I thought it was. Is this their village? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I have like 92 of these, but more the merrier. Um, can I go out there? Like, will I take damage if I go in this water? Well, it doesn't seem like it's a good idea, does it? But it seems like I can just swim around and it's fine. I should slow down. Why don't I have a heart mushroom? Oh. <laughs> Let's just go out in the water, I guess. I guess there's no reason not to. Oh, another glowing hall. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Sorry. I have to put my hand in this. I have to. It's necessary. Oh, finally, we found something. 
A key at that, not just like a mushroom. So did we actually have to find a key item by doing that? Was that like essential? Rusted key, a key found in garbage. All right. Well, I don't know what we're using that for, but hey, once we, when we, ha when we, oops, oh no, I'm trying to drown me. When we find a, a rusted lock, we will know. We will know what to do. Oh, I can't like go up there. Okay. That's irres it's irresponsible swamp behavior. Like if if you're swimming, you don't you don't try to pull under people other people under. The lifeguard would have words with you about that. Just find a napkin. Oh, being pincered. And this music just keeps going, doesn't it? This uh, music just isn't stopping. Can't stop, won't stop. Just find a napkin. Was there like a search bar? Oh yeah, there is. Hold on. Uh, March seventh. I know this sounds weird. <laughs> But I really like sticking my hand into weird places, <laughs> like holes in rocks or dents in garbage. When I was a kid, I used to hide things in spots like these. Maybe it's a bad idea to go reaching into random crevasses around this island, but for some reason, I can't stop myself. Oh well. Man, I love sticking my hand into things. Okay, that's what we needed this for. I'm glad... I'm glad we found that key before we got here. It would have been annoying if... If we got here and we didn't have the key. And we had to go stick our hands into crevasses. Ooh, Molotov cocktail. I can't carry any. Okay, is this like a an infinite resupply of Molotov cocktails? March 7th. I just found some explosives. I'm not sure why someone would leave them here like this, but you'd think it'd be a fire hazard. Then again, I'm not complaining. I wonder if these would work on some of the bug nests in the area. I should go find that giant spider again. Bottle filled with gasoline. So we have Molotov cocktails, we have grenades. Yeah, just save again. Now we have cocktails. Anything here? Doesn't seem like it. All right, so we remember the giant spider fight. It's where um, we were on the bridge. I mean, we defeated the spider, but Mike died. I, so I guess we want to give that another go. Maybe, maybe prevent Mike from dying. See if we can do that. Uh, okay, so do we just go back the way we came? 
I wonder if, like... It, hold on, let me check the map. I wonder if this part of the swamp is the entire reason to get the Molotov cocktails. Okay, well... That glowing point, that's, like, where the hive is, isn't it? Which means we would just go back the way we came. So yeah, I guess this entire section of the level is here to get those cocktails. Whoops, I, that's not what I wanted. Oh, wait, we can access the, the hive from this direction. So we don't have to go back away the way around. We can just get to it from here. All right. Um, I would rather these moths were not here while I was doing this, but okay. Can we Molotov this thing? You'd think it would work. There we go. All right, so what was the reason to do this? I mean, we can go back to the level with the spider from here. Yeah, um... Yeah, the spider is just right on the other side of this. Okay, so the bonus conditions would have been to destroy 10 boxes, 20 vampire moths, and kill the 8 lizard women. I only killed 5 of them. Can't we just learn to get along with the lizard women? All right, let's see if we can uh, throw this at a spider. Oh, I wonder if we have to destroy the tree first. Is that tree still there? It is still there. Well, oh man, oh man, look how many, look, look how many there are. Actually, I do have my, my spear already equipped. Okay. Okay, well, we know it can destroy this tree. Ah! 
Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have been too close to that. Alright, let's see what the spider thinks about it. First, we should probably eat some fruit. We have 930 purple things. Is that good? I have no idea. It hit it. Seems like the spider's on fire. Like, maybe I should give it another go. Let me just, let me just take care of these little ones. Is, is he st is Mike hanging there? Oh, yeah, I see him. I see Mike over there. Well. I mean, the first time we beat the spider, it was with these, I believe. Should we just do it again? Just look at something. I mean, we've collected a lot of notes by this time. I don't know what it would, which one it would be. I guess it's this one. That, that's not what I wanted. Would this work on some of the bug nests? I should go find that giant spider. All right, well, we found the spider. Wants to use the Molotov cocktail on the bug nests in the area. Um, I wonder if... I wonder if we should kill the spider. Because the first time around anyway... We, like, the bridge collapsed and Mike died. Well, we did save a game. I guess we could kill the spider and see if the same thing happens. Any, any other spiders attacking? Doesn't seem like it. 
Does he still, like, attack me if I... No? Can I pull Mike up? My, I, I could just, like, pull him up. No? I mean, I guess that's the exit to the level. Hey, Mike. What's, uh, what's going? Oh, spider. Hold on, Mike. Hold on. Hey, Mike, you, uh... Oh, man, I... It's not really acknowledging me moving the Wiimote around. I think I'm probably just too close to the sensor bar. You remember that, right? The sensor bar? I mean, I guess I could, like, throw him at that big tumor on the cliff. Mike, I have, like, a limited number of Molotov cocktails. Should I, like, throw them at, like, the big tumor? No opinions on that? I think we triggered a cutscene. That was a cutscene, Molotov. Uh oh, is it time for the real spider boss fight? Well, if it's time for a boss fight, maybe we should equip our gun. Ah, it's way too close. Let me just eat something. Mmm, so many to choose from. I'll take I'll, I'll take a heart mushroom. Ow. Oh. doing damage to it. I mean, it seems like, you know, there's, like, damage stuff coming out of it. hard to tell if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. I think, I think we did. Uh, 
Sorry, I was, uh, worn out from fighting an even bigger spider before. Where the hell is Michelle? Wasn't she with you? Dude, calm down. I think she ran off into the woods somewhere. I'm sure she'll be fine. You think if anything happens to her, it'll be your fault? Hey, there wasn't anything I could do. Well, get moving. We're going to have to find her. Fine. Here, take my gun. You're going to need it more than me. Do 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 do. Thanks. Maybe you're not such an asshole after all. Well, I'm still going to jump on Michelle. Not likely. You know, Ray, I may end up respecting you after all. Don't get mushy on me. All right, we'll split up. Whoever finds you first is the winner. I'll find her. Don't worry. Oh, I just remembered. Here's the combination to Mike's bag of mystery. It may be useful to you. We learned... Oh, that's his... It was his thing. Mike's bag of mystery. That's kind of creepy. Look, I left my bag on a mountain pass. It was really heavy. And while you're off learning to look for it, I'll be helping Michelle. I don't think she wants your kind of help. Your face needs help. Yeah, my face does need help. Yeah, I'm. I would like to help it. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. I'm looking. I met these. I met these lizard women. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's just something about them. There's just something about them. Where was that briefcase? I remember the briefcase, but where was it? He said it was on a mountain pass. I can't, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about Mike's stuff. <laughs> it's, it's all I'm thinking about. It's all in my mind. Mike's stuff. Okay, it is over here. Hold on. In addition to stuff, there's also a mushroom. All right. What's in Mike's bag of mystery? I can't wait to find out. You entered the combination Mike told you. Let's see. Uh, 69, 69. And unlocked it. I found a gas mask. I found a box of shotgun bullets. <laughs> gas mask? I mean, I don't know. I guess that will, that'll be useful. Why did you bring it, Mike? Let's have a look at it. Is it like an accessory? Did we actually find another accessory? No, that's this is still the only accessory. Oh, let's look at the shotgun. Pump action hunting gun. Maybe we can kill Beelzebub with it. Uh, is it is the gas mask in our items? <clears throat> oh, no, that didn't mean to do that. Yeah, there it is. Gas mask found in Mike's bag. Thanks. I guess this would help in the cavern of time with all of the gases. Maybe we'll be able to actually do battle with Beelzebub wearing the gas mask. Here 
or anyone else? Maybe not. Okay. Well, there's no glowies at the moment. Um, let's see. Well, I know where we came from. If we go across... Should we go across the bridge, maybe? I mean, I guess this is how we advanced the game uh, in the first run-through. We went... We did go this direction. Okay, we did not kill 10 flies, we did not kill 30 baby spiders, and we did not kill the giant spider in under one minute. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll save. As we move on to Hillside... All right, there is a glowy. Um, okay, that's that's the cabin where the back door led into a hill. So this is the this is the place where we first met the lizard women. That's where that's what this level is. I think also in the lower left hand corner is a cave. We should explore that because apparently we can go into these caves. Uh, let's just take a look to see if if we can. If we can get in there now. And there's so many of them. Hold on. Sandbag. Uh, let's see. There was a cave around okay here oh there's just there are no rocks the rocks are gone we don't have to blow them up or anything where are we now it's still okay we're still in hillside but we're not even on the map we're not on the map I see lizard women. I seize them. There's like a bunch of enemies. Hold on. I need your treasure. I need to get the treasure you must be guarding. I don't see anything here. Num num num. Uh, oh, exploding answer here. All the friends are here. Num num num. Let's just turn this flashlight off. I just need to know. What is it that you can get in these caves? Because we did see some objectives of previous levels said to find treasures in caves. I, I just gotta know what that 
what that is. Like, what do we find in here? This is one twisty cave. Have we found a room? I know. A fun thing is how when I throw them off, I th it's deliberately to the right, and I can only assume that's to make it so there's you probably won't hit them until they get up because they're not in front of you. You have to turn to the right. I just mentioned the game's controls. I've played worse, but these controls really are not good enough to support such uh, such combat. Box shotgun bullets. I mean, I'm sure we'll use that. Oh, the downstab does actually make sense now with the spear. Box of bullets. Oh, there's another one. All right. Well, this seems to be the end of the path. Ah, uh, we found some... We found some bullets. You know, that's okay. I'm sure we'll be using them. Uh, that was just kind of a lengthy path, and that's, uh, that's where it took us. Back we go. I mean, there's still more to explore in this cave. So of the people who died in the first playthrough, we've managed to save Harry, and now we managed to save Mike. I guess um, next up would be the um, Lynn and her boyfriend. I don't know if we ever found out the name of the boyfriend. I guess they're the next two.
Let's eat a refreshing mushroom. Heck yeah. Oh, an actual thing, an actual reward. Spike Club, how did this get here? It's a fair question. I like how big it is. I didn't realize it was that big. Oh, look how slow it is. <laughs> it's like we're using it's like we're using the great knife now. I hope this is really strong, considering how slow its swing is. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we want to keep... Want, uh, do we want to keep going this way, or do we want to... Yeah, it was this way. This is the way. This is back the way we came. I guess let's head down here. something on the ground it is difficult to get the hits in before they grab especially with so many enemies around i just turn this off Man, this cave is big. Why is it so big? Why is there so much to go through? Like, if this is a bonus section, because so far we've not seen anything in here that we would have to have. If this is really about just a bonus section, man, this is just a lengthy cave with a lot of enemies and not really much in it. expiration date on this all right i think that's everything i think
All right, I'm I'm gonna just have to. It does have a really long reach, even though it's slow. But I think overall the spear was more effective. Like maybe there are some specific enemies that this would work better against. But I feel like overall the spear was working better against a larger variety of enemies. Actually, there is like a one passage we haven't gone down. I guess we should. And are all the caves like this? Just these lengthy areas? Just like complete bonus areas? and orange was the only thing down this direction. Like, if you can get the lizard women with three hits before they hit you, then you will kill them. So, it does kill fast, but they can easily attack you before you get all the hits in. We found bullets. I don't know if I want to go in any more of these caves. Let's put our spear back on. I mean, maybe some caves could have some good things in them. Um, hmm. But if all of them are as lengthy as this, uh, I don't know. Out we go.
Back to the explodey place. What's the expiration date on this? Mmm. So many, so many jumpy boys. Just so many jumpy boys. We did find a grenade in here. We haven't used any yet, but... Like I said, considering that that was in the mythical bag, I figure that those grenades has got to be important. Remember when I was looking all over this level the first time around and I couldn't find what we needed and it was because there was like this one bridge I didn't go across and when I, when I did I found the key. <laughs> Being bombarded by Rolly Boys. That's it. Lynn, what are you doing here? Looking for you, you jerk! Alright, so that cutscene was the same. And uh, when we see them next, they might be killed by a sandworm. But our goal will be to try to uh, avoid that from happening. Since it seems to be what we're doing here in the second run is saving everyone who died from the first run. And this is it right here. This is the Sandworm Arena. Yeah? All right, rocky things. Why do we need to know about those? All right. So th okay, now we're fighting. We're fighting. Let me head over to the rock things. Oh, there it is. All right. Just like that, huh? All right. So don't stay still for long.
grenade, just in case we had not found any before. All right, it was pointing my attention to these rock things. So let's equip some grenades. Oh man, I'm gonna have to throw, I'm gonna have to aim and throw this before it gets me. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we are. All right, uh, 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 uh. All right, that's one. Yeah, get further away. Yeah? Hey! Are, oh, are we done with Worm? Is Worm gone? It seems like we're not worried about Worm now. Is oh, All right, Worm Crisis is over. How did you get all the way up here? Who is this kid? Who is this guy? We don't have time for kitty games right now. You'd better run on home. You know, you're home on this incredibly dangerous island. This is no game. I'm searching for my friend. Calm down. This is my fiance, Robert Dallas. I thought you were messing with me when you said your boyfriend was missing, because that sounds like a common joke people would make in this situation. Robert, he's looking for his girlfriend. Oh, she's with you? Nice piece of work. Yeah, I know. W wait, you seen her? Tell me where Michelle is. Don't worry about it. You and Lynn have to get out of here. What about you, Robert? She's not near the cave, is she? Don't tell me she's near the cave already. Cave? Enough talk. You have to get off this island before some insect eats you. Do you know something that we don't? Don't worry about it. Just take you to Michelle. I'm going to bring her back home. Robert, I don't think he's going to change his mind. Look, Lynn, we've already got one injured person. We don't need anyone else slowing us down. Fine, just tell me where to go. I'll find her myself. Robert, you translated the book on this island. You know your way better than anyone. Oh, did he write the Necro Notes? Is that his book? Can't we help him? You mean you wrote the Necro Notes? The book that Michelle was reading? Then you've got to tell me. Is there a volcanic cave at the top of this island that's home to some sort of monster? Yes, they call it the Cave of Time. Have you read my book? I saw it in a nightmare. Michelle was in the cave and she was killed by a huge monster. It was horrible. Ever since I woke up, it's like everything from my nightmare has come true. Also, when I woke up, I was holding this giant lance and had all the stuff I got from my nightmare. Weird how nightmares work like that. I don't understand it, but I have to save Michelle. I see. So you're the one who's behind the sudden increase in seismic activity. What are you talking about? When you pass through the portal in time, the island's magnetic field destabilized. You mean? Question mark, question mark, question mark? Yes, it was no dream. The Cave of Time acts as kind of a wormhole. According to legend, it could send you back and forth through folds in space-time, using your memories as sort of a dimensional chart. Is that even how a wormhole works? Who's 
is the scientist here. Anyhow, somewhere in the heart of the cave is the creature Beelzebub. He's the monster you saw. This is incredible to think that the legends are true. They mocked me when I told them. Mocked me! But now... <coughs> Uh-oh. He's... He's got a case of the I'll show them, I'll show them all. He's got that going on. This is crazy. You must tell me about the creature. Beelzebub, you saw him, didn't you? Did he look like the Necronos described him? Look, I told you I haven't read your book. I hate insects. I can't believe this is happening. But if it's really true, then I need to hip hip help Michelle. Where is she? Tell. Uh, don't we already know where she is? We found her previously. She's resting in the temple on the top of the mountain. She'll be safe there until a gorilla looks through her window and then she'll run out and the gorilla will chase her and then she'll end up in the cave of time. But you must tell me about the cave. I'll fill you in later. If that really wasn't a dream, then we need to get moving now. I mean, they haven't died, so I guess in, now he'll be able to see the cave of time. Previously, they died right here. Also, why are we not worrying about the worm? I, bl I blew up two of the thing. Where am I going? Wh where? What? What? All right, I guess I'm by the exit. I don't understand what happened with the worm. I blew up two things. And then I guess the worm's done with... F I, I guess the worm is done. We don't have to worry about worm. Uh, I guess. It was- it was very unclear. Curl giant worm off cliff. Well, now I'm disappointed we didn't see that. How do you even do that? By what means do you hurl the giant worm off the cliff? Because I'm imagining, when it says the word hurl, I'm imagining us picking up the worm and throwing it. But that, I'm sure that's not actually what it is. I'm going to save a game. And we're going to be moving on. Oh, Cave to the Peak. That was a pretty long cave. But, uh, we're almost to the temple. And then once we get to the temple, maybe things will be different. I don't know if this cave would be any different. Like, I, I'm not sure if any part of this cave is going to be different. Well, I mean, at least we have the, the lance as we go through this cave now. I think we're going to take a little break after the rush of adrenaline... That was the giant worm fight in which I blew up two rock things with a grenade and then... Mm? And then... Mm? We can take a little break. Oh yeah, feeling good, feeling fresh. We're entering the cave. Oh, actually, I should change my weapon back to spear. That's right. We're going. We could go all night long as we head back up to the temple. Now, it, it, when we find Michelle in the temple, I wonder if we could change anything to stop her from running away from the monkey, which results in the monkey breaking open the Cave of Time, and then we go into the Cave of Time, and then... There's Beelzebub. Can we stop any of that from happening? Hold on. I'm really just gonna have to... We also have different passages we could take. Cave to the peak. Um, you know, we never actually explored the right. I, I guess we could explore the right-hand side. You need to fill out that map.
as usual. Time for a delicious cave mushroom. Mmm. We made a bar. Yeah, we did make. Now we're talking. We did make a barbed wire bat. I mean, the 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 range of the lance is probably what we still be going with, but we might as well see what this is like. Bat rolled up with barbed wire. So, Lynn and Robert are still alive, and Robert's very interested in finding about finding out about Beelzebub. So I assume that once we get into this endgame part with Beelzebub, he's gonna be he's gonna be playing a part. Because I mean, he's all about that. He's all about it. He wants to see the Lord of the Flies for himself jealous that Ray has seen it and he hasn't. He's been spending his life studying this. And Ray, who's he? He hasn't even read the Necro Notes. And he's all like, oh yeah, yeah, I've seen Beelzebub. Not a big deal, really. There's a mushroom right there. Well, I pro- Let me just get this out of the way. I can slow down. Yep, gotta slow down. Probably should equip the lance. The lance does have a lot of range. Yeah, I did, I did a much better job. The barbed wire bat is cool, but, um, yeah, the lance is far and away the best weapon that we've gotten.
don't know what that sound effect is. like that the path that we're on met someplace else on that we have been on the map mm. all right so we'll take a right there's also a little bit on the map that we haven't explored I got a bonus clear for killing five canine men. Remember the days in the Wii, uh, days of the Wii when the, uh, the Xbox 360 had achievements and the PS3 had trophies, but Nintendo didn't have anything like that on the Wii, so some games just made their own built-in achievements. Because achievements were the hot new thing at the time. Everyone was into those Chivos. reaching the end of the cave so that means the next stop is temple and yeah this cave wasn't any different than the first time round it, i didn't think there would be because it didn't seem like there was anything that could be different uh it was exactly the same but when we go into temple when we go into the temple we will see if we can change anything around I mean, considering Ray knows everything that happened the first time, you'd think he would be able to change things. He knows what happens. We could just, like, throw a rock through the window. Well, actually, we did throw a rock through the window where Michelle is. We did that last time. I guess she must have been, you know, deep asleep. Because she didn't hear it. I killed five canine men. Purple fragments plus 80.
Sure, let's save. We are entering the temple. All right, well, first let's look at the map. Let's see where it says our goal is right now. That's Michelle's room. did it Michelle are no, that's not it Michelle are you all right all right I'm so scared it's so it's okay I'm here now but we really need to go where's Mike is he okay he'll be fine we split up to look for you but I'm sure he's on his way is it ever yeah, yeah, he'll come meet us when I fire off this gun. Did we, did we like make an arrangement for that? I don't remember him saying that. I'm so glad he's okay. I was worried. Uh, Michelle? Yes? I know this isn't the best time to say this, but I, I want to hit those back walls. Oh, Ray! I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. This has never happened to me. Two men confessing their love for me in one night. Well, you know, it seemed like the last opportunity to... What? Did you hear that? Yeah, probably the people I just met, but I... There are others here. Yeah. One of them wrote that book you were reading. Robert Dallas? Yeah, I, I, I think that's it. Look, I really think... You're serious? The Robert Dallas? Uh-huh, Michelle, I have to tell you. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Do I look okay? Is my hair messy? You look fine, but it doesn't matter. I think he was the one who brought you here to safety. Anyhow, we really ought to. I was unconscious. Ray, I can't go looking like this. Okay, okay, I'll I'll go find you something else to why don't don't promise that. We there's nothing else to wear. There's gotta be something around here. Oh, uh, don't don't promise that we're going to find a new wardrobe. What are we talking about? Okay, maybe in here. Where have you been? Uh, I found Michelle. How's your leg? Oh, that. My leg has been fine. I was just tired of walking every... Okay, that's why she was always on the ground. And I wanted to give Robert a hard time. I didn't mean for you to get caught up in all of this. Robert, you've been here researching for over three years. Do you know what's happening? Uh, there's a gas in the bowels of the island. It mutates the development of the indigenous insects and other wildlife. But there is hope that the mutated antimicrobial proteins may be put to a helpful use. There's even massive potential to exploit its regenerative properties. A sort of panacea. English, please, Poindexter. 
Simply put, this island has unlimited potential to advance medical science. That's not what the other guy said. Robert, you don't look so good. Maybe you'd better... Ugh. Robert, are you okay? Uh, uh, take it easy. Uh, you should... Uh, there's one more thing. The gas. I'm afraid humans are not immune to its effects. We have to get you out of here. The creatures you've seen are oh, the example of the mutative power of the gas. You mean it's what's been turning them into those monsters? Enough. Robert, we're getting out of here. Lynn, I'm sorry for not saying goodbye before I left. Here, take this. What is it? It's a serum I synthesized out of the antimicrobial proteins. Ah! From the insects on this island. It can temporarily... Ah! Hold off the effects of the gas. I don't know if it has any other properties. But I'm sure if it were studied, it could uh, contribute to medical science. Robert, you're sick. You need this. I told you its effects are only temporary. And I seem to have developed an um, immunity to it. There's no hope for me. I, I can't. Ray, I need you to get her to safety. Will you do this for me? There's still time for you. Come on. Not enough time. Arr, I, I can feel it. Go. Go now. Take it. Take the serum and, and go. Robert, no. Robert? <laughs> Robert, no! <laughs> I guess we weren't able to save Robert. I met him at my company. He was well, a well-respected and gifted scientist. What a fool. Lynn, I... Here, you should take the serum. Da -da -da -da. But he gave it to you. I'm too scared to hold it anymore. I can't take this island. We need to be strong, Lynn. For Robert. Do it for Robert. It's the reason Robert is dead. <laughs> I'm going to call my company's hell. Oh, you could do that? You could just do that? Uh, what? My company, the Freshwood Corporation, they have an island post near here. I don't think it'll take too long. Uh, you mean you, you kind of called a, a, a helicopter this whole time? Oh, relax. Everything's fine. Except for your dead boyfriend. Yeah. This has been a really bad day. I hate you. You'll get over it. I'll what? go for a helicopter. You bring her back here. Okay.
Oh no! What's uh, what's happening? <clears throat> of course, of course. It's it's monkey. I mean, do, I, do we actually have to fight him? Like this door is still open. Oh, okay, no, now it's gonna make us fight it finally. I can't bring Michelle here with that thing on the loose. Okay. It's making it's gonna make us do the thing. So far, every time this guy's come up, it I have not actually had to kill him. But this is the time. The time for the final confrontation between man and monkey. I think I'm doing damage to him. But I guess we do I guess we do have guns we could use. You know, if if you were into that kind of thing. We did get this shotgun. A very unusual weapon in a video game. Oh, that stunned him. Is he throwing like? Oh yeah. Okay, he's he's throwing a rock. Oh, and he, he's gone. Didn't realize there was like a statue of Beelzebub there. And th that's it. F Monkey gone. Monkey dead now. Finally, the confrontation has come to its close between man and monkey.
Mmm, a mango. A post-monkey death mango. Alright, well we did not destroy wooden boxes, praying mantises, or kill the giant gorilla in 30 seconds, and I'm fine with all that. All right, Cave of Time. Is it time to throw down with Beelzebub? Or is there some more time loopery to happen? <coughs> we have our gas mask. There we go. Mike coming through for us. Well, we've saved everyone who died except for Robert, but I guess the idea is that Robert couldn't actually be saved because he was already exposed to too much of the island gas. So I don't think there's anything we could do to help him. Oh, this. You remember this, right? This is fun. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, we... We just do not have the time to recover from it. This was the most difficult part of the game. And like, even though we have, even though we're some, so much of a stronger character, that's not going to help with this part. Oh, does it, does it really send us back here? I thought it's I thought we restarted at the beginning of the bridge last time because we did it so many times in a row. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Okay, you remember how this goes. The rocks come down. No, actually it's right above me. Hold on. Okay, good. We walked. Ah. Oh yeah, we did not make it in time. So wait for the first one to go. And then when we rock what well, we walk through it, we gotta walk through it fast, but also don't make a mistake. We can't stumble. Because if we stumble, we don't have enough time to recover. It's a very sh it's a very short bridge, as we discovered last time. <clears throat> but you have to not make a mistake. ahead of us yeah it was ahead of us that one was that one is ahead and that, that one's on, on top there we go this way <laughs> climb down Gotta slow down. And by slow down, they mean eat a mushroom. <clears throat> Let's eat a heart mushroom. Mmm. Do you think it tastes meaty? Like a meaty, veiny, like it's just like eating raw organ meat. Yeah. 
we had to escort Michelle through here last time, but we're just on our own now. Oh, she's up here. Hey, Michelle. Michelle! Right. All right, time for the big fight. Uh, we probably should equip a gun. See, um, got it, got it, got it. I don't know where I'm aiming. Oh, there's so many bugs. There's so many bugs. You know, there's just so much to look at. Maybe we'll just throw explosives at them. I mean, Michelle's Michelle get, might get hurt, but okay, we do have the grenades equipped. Michelle knew the risks. Ah. Maybe I, should eat something. I think the grenades are hitting the flies. I gotta get rid of these flies. I could use a melee attack on his big disgusting tail. Okay, yeah, he's bleeding. He's bleeding purple. I got a bonus achievement. I killed so many flies. I'm not sure what was hurting me there. I mean, I am ho I'm wearing a gas mask. So, I would think I would be protected against the fumes and all that. Okay, apparently it doesn't hurt, it doesn't protect against this, the purple. The purple stuff. I don't know if this is the be- if this is the best thing to do. I don't know if there's anything I could do to protect myself against that purple. Not sure about that. Like he's bleeding. But is this the most effective thing I could be doing? Whoop, that's not what I wanted. Want to eat a tasty breadfruit? Mmm.
Oh, okay. Okay. There's no greater weapon than a giant rock to fall on the head. Oh, the serum, right. I was thinking, what? What is that? Oh, yes, that's right. The serum Robert gave us. Michelle? Michelle? Let's go home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, we actually do have to go. Um, let me just Let me just check the map. Do we do we need to like literally go back to the entrance of the cave? Uh-huh. Well, actually there's like a glow point. Whoops, not, not that. There's a glow point before we get there. We have to go through this room. Are the enemies still here? Uh, I don't see them. Though Michelle did stop moving. I guess we're doing this again. She needs some moral support. I mean, this would be a lot worse if all of those bugs and lizard women were, uh, were still in this room, but it seems like they're not. You wanna... I don't know. I, I know you're winded and everything. But, uh... Maybe, maybe like saunter a little bit maybe mosey a tad you don't need to run i'm i'm saying but i'm saying some forward motion uh i would appreciate it. do you want some spinach i don't I got some spinach. Oh, okay. You, you, you going? All oh, right. Here we go. Here we go. Mind the holes. All right, we're almost at the glowy objective, Michelle. Almost there. Just about. All right. Should I be get Okay. I was wondering um, should I be getting a prompt? Here we go. Good. Now I can get outside the cave. Oh, is it going to warp us there? That would be appreciated. Okay, yes. Yes, okay. Cave of time. Done. We killed 20 flies. We did not kill 20 maggots. We did not kill Beelzebub under two minutes. Sure, I will save. Nee, nee. 
will always remember the memorable save theme of Escape from Bug Island. Hey, thank goodness you're safe. You found her first. Looks like you're the winner. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Is there enough room for everyone? Oh yeah, there's there's Harry in there. He made it. I found these two on the way here. <sighs> I could only fit two more. Someone's gonna have to wait and I'll come back for them. How long will it take? I could make it two hours if I hurry. Harry, you're useless. You stay behind. Useless? I'm a highly respected scientist. I'll stay, get everyone to safety, and I'll wait till the chopper gets back. Be careful, Ray! The earthquakes are getting stronger. Be careful, and we'll see you in two hours. That's nothing. If things get too rough, I'll try to escape to the boat. Oh, we're gonna have to escape to the boat. Good luck, Ray. Wait, I've been thinking about heroic I've been lately. I think I should stay. You know, so others can sing songs about me later. I don't care who stays, but we need to decide now. The longer we wait, the longer it takes to get back. What are we going to do? I mean, both Ray and Mike could stay like that. And then the pilot comes back with an empty helicopter. And then we both, Ray, Ray you're great and everything, but I speak, I think I speak for everyone. When I say you can't be responsible for this. Are you serious? You flunked the ninth grade twice and you say you can handle this? You're right. I'll get on the chopper. See you later, hero. Yeah, run along. Hey! What? What is that? What? Hey, Ray. I think that volcano is about to erupt. You should get away from here. Thanks for the tip, but I'm going to head to the boat. You know, for someone so dumb, you're pretty cute. R r r r really? I thought we hated her. We like we we specifically said that I hate you. Me, promise me you make it back home. Of course, one way or another, I'll make this a happy ending. One way or another, isn't there really only one way? I don't think we needed to throw uh, Mike being held back a couple times in his face. It seemed unnecessary. All right, um, let's look at the map and see where we're going. Yeah, we're just going to the entrance. 
Um, are we just act like, are we actually just going to go back through all the levels to get back to the boat? That seems a little unnecessary. I mean, usually escape sequences in these games are, like, cut down a little bit, and they don't have you do it in real time. Oh, yeah, Robert. Yeah, I think we'll save. Oh man, Robert wanted to see Beelzebub, but now he has become the new Beelzebub. Oh wait, actually, what the, did it say we're in the ruins? Because that's the first level. Yeah. Yeah, there, okay, it warped us to the first level. Uh, of course. It doesn't mean we're just... We're just going to be able to head right to that boat. Considering what we just saw with Robert. It does get comical how much they throw on the screen. Just how many enemies are on the screen. And like I said, the gameplay of the game really is not good enough to support doing this. Like, there are some games in which, like, they have really refined action gameplay that can, you know, support having a whole ton of enemies on the screen. Uh, this is not one of those games! I do like how they have all these flies around here specifically to stop me from running. Like, they're, they're just there to stop me every so often as I'm running. frame rate well the frame rate just um illustrates the drama of the scene man baxter stockman looks a lot grosser than i imagined he would um so like the only health item i have left is the, the spinach which is full health well, you know, I got hurt the first time I used a purple mushroom. I'm really hesitant to... Really hesitant to use that. Um, let's see. Do I want to use the spear or do I want to pull out guns? I guess let's try the spear first. But, uh, let's see. I could try grenades. See how those go. 
Ugh, that's disgusting. I don't know what was happening there. <laughs> oh, I took a grenade to the face. Okay, maybe maybe we won't use grenades. Maybe we're not doing that. Let's uh, use the shotgun. The shotgun of our best friend, Mike. The shotgun is a powerful weapon. What? No, I don't want to do that. I'm having disagreement between the analog stick selecting things and the pointer selecting things. The, the shotgun, not just a powerful weapon, but it is, it is a symbol of the emotional bond we have with Mike, our best friend. Surely, armed with this, there's no way Robber could defeat us. That's how it works in anime. Yeah, that was how the, the grenade killed me. He rushed me and the grenade blew up in my face. is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a mushroom over there. I guess there are health items we can pick up in the middle of the fight. Is it like some sort? Is he like hypnotizing me or something there? All right, I think I've used my shells. Get out our gun, our handgun. Like with a lot of things in this game, it's hard to tell if what I'm doing is effective at all. It's, it's just difficult to tell. Oh wait, I, I guess it was effective.
Music just kind of faded out there. Oh, okay, they've cut the credits roll. Uh, and I guess that's the end. That is, um... That's the end of Escape from Bug Island. All right. <clears throat> um... Whew. So... Just, uh, this was one the game that I had started some years ago and then just didn't continue, and I felt that it was something we needed to... We needed to get through. We just needed to do it. And, um, it had, it was, a, I think, a good time was had by all tonight. Um, with Leo's adventure through the island. Um, and we, we, Killed uh, Beelzebub and I, I guess we we kissed Michelle in the end. She realized that we were the love of her life, um, and we 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 kissed. There was a time tunnel. We didn't expect that. Like, we, we knew it was Escape from Bug Island, and we knew there would be bugs. We did not know about the time tunnel. That was new. Um, we did not know about the lizard women. Like, there's a village of Amazon lizard women on the island. What about those notes that we were picking up about someone who was here looking for his girlfriend, and the girlfriend was living with the lizard women? Was that, I mean, was the person writing the notes Robert, or was it someone else? If that's the case, wouldn't the girlfriend have been Lynn? But she wasn't living with lizard women. Like, were there other people there? <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Rank D. Perfect. Gotta end it with the music that we all love. Took 7 hours and 6 minutes and 34 seconds to beat. Total death 16. Total enemies killed 569. Unlocked bonus 13 out of 57. What does that mean? What are the unlocked bonuses? Are those the achievements? Are those the end of level achievements? Uh, why don't we see the details of enemies killed? Here are... We haven't looked at this screen before. This is how many enemies we killed. We killed one mutated Robert. Only one. I'll, yeah, sure. Why don't we save... Our hard-earned New Game Plus file. You can see the word clear right there. Indicating it's New Game Plus. And back to the title screen we go. Finally, after all these years, we have escaped from Bug Island. Let me look at... Let me look at the back of the box. The back of the box says that this is the creepiest survival horror game for the Wii... Is that true? Because I would think... I don't I don't think it's true. I don't think that is true. Um, you wake up alone in a deep and fog-covered forest. 
your friends are nowhere to be found. Well, it is true that we do take a nap and he wakes up right there. And uh, Mike and Michelle are not there. I guess that is true. Uh, it was supposed to be a cozy night camping in the woods until strange creatures rose from the darkness. You must find your friends, survive the horrific forest, and get off the island in one piece. Yeah, yeah, you do that. The four features on the back of the box are, number one, bugs. Squash, smash, and stump giant bugs and eerie mutants using the Wii remote. We do that. Number two, obstacles. Use the Weaver mode and nunchuck to overcome swinging bridges, pitfalls, falling rocks, and insect nests. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Number three, time travel. Enter the cave of time and travel back through time to save the lives of your friends. So it does tell you about that twist on the back of the box because it's not, not exactly clear, not the clearest in the game. Number four, survive. Exterminate hundreds of insects using rifles, grenades, sickles, rocks, and much more. I guess this is all true. I guess there are no lies on the back of this. Um, man, I, I, I can't really think of what comments to say about Escape from Bug Island. Um, I'll, there's a lot of gameplay. The gameplay is not the best. I mean, really, when it comes to the best parts of Escape from Bug Island, it's these the wonderful cutscenes and the wonderful dialogue. And I feel like there wasn't enough. There really wasn't enough in the game. Could have been more. Um, I feel like we should have explored the lizard women more. Um, there should have been more about that about the uh, i don't know why this is not just escape from the island of lizard women it could have just the whole thing just could have been about that um like uh, that's obviously the main attraction here on bug island or necronesia whichever you want to call it and i just feel like uh the lead was buried i feel like it was um Man, I don't know. I feel like there the really was... I can't think of anything to say, kind of, about the game. Um, it's hard to just think of thoughts, because... I don't I don't know. Um, our, char our character started off as a shy, like, unassertive person who, over the course of the adventure, became a hero and kissed Michelle and saved his friends and became a hero and volunteered to be the last one left on the island and drove off in the boat and said, Michelle, wait. You know, that, something like that, I think, is that Michelle wait line is kind of a microcosm of how this game is directed. Like, you know that the person who wrote that line meant it in the way of saying like Michelle wait for me I'm coming something like that but the way the line actually comes off in the game is it sounds like he's yelling at Michelle to wait like literally wait that's how he says it Michelle wait and it's like what why are like she can't hear you and why would you want her to stop in the helicopter like obviously you wouldn't want that but it's not that's not the meaning of it he's not literally telling her to wait he's just like saying michelle wait for me i'm coming and it doesn't come off that way at all in the game and that's like how all the dialogue comes off it's just how it all feels again i do like how this intro attract mode uh is just all cutscenes not even going to show any gameplay here. Going to just going to show the cutscenes. Um <clears throat> Well, I'm I'm glad we played it. Uh I you know, I, I would say oddly enough, it kept my interest all the way through. I never felt like I was being tortured um, as I was playing Escape from Bug Island. And um, there were some elements that kind of dragged on, such as the caves 
the caves went on for a while. Overall, I feel like it had a, a pretty, a pretty good sense of pacing. It was pretty snappy. Um, unlike some other games that we may have played in the past. Uh, I feel like it lasted just long enough. It was on the verge of wearing out its welcome, but I think it managed to stop right before that happened. Um, the characters were... Like, I don't... It just kind of feels weird. Like, we meet Robert for a very short amount of time, and, like, we don't know him at all. The last boss fight is him turning into a monster. Are we supposed to feel anything? Uh, um, uh, um? Like, what? wouldn't... Wouldn't the big emotional boss would have been if Mike turned into a monster? I don't know. Like, wouldn't that, that have been the bigger deal? Um... And then, you know, we would have been, we, we would have had tears in our eyes as we have to put him down. Like that's, I don't know. It seems like it would have made more sense. And then since Robert would have been alive, Michelle would have been starstruck over him and wouldn't even looked at us. And that is when we resign ourselves to knowing that it's not meant to be with us and Michelle. And we go to live with the lizard women. And th that's how it ends. That's the ending. So I don't know. That just seems like that has more emotional resonance uh, to me. But that's, uh, that's our playthrough of Escape from Bug Island. I hope you enjoyed watching this insectoid adventure of three people who went to an island because one of them wanted to see the big bugs, but it turned out it was an island of death and I guess no one knew that. And, um... And, and that's... And then with... That's what happened. I feel like things just happen in this game. Like, you could try to explain a story, but it's like, no, no, there's not really a story. It's more like just a sequence of events just happened. And, uh, and now it's done. And now it's over. You know, honestly, I felt that there was more of a, as far as boss fights go, I felt there was more of an emotional payoff to killing the gorilla. Like that gorilla, we've seen a gorilla, we've seen gorillas throughout the game. And uh, I never, like I chose not to fight them, I just ran away. Maybe I didn't have to do that. Maybe I could have fight them throughout the game. But the fact that we kept seeing them and, uh, and running from the game, throughout the game. And then near the end, we finally get to this one fight where we actually have to fight him. Uh, like that I think was the big emotional payoff of the game, finally killing the gorilla. Um, that's the closest thing this game has to an emotional payoff. It was the death of the gorilla. Truly, twas beauty killed the beast. Because we, we, our character is pretty hot, I guess. You could, I mean, you could say it that. I think you could say that. There he is. Um... That's Escape from Bug Island. What else is there to say? What else is there to say? I hope for the people here live, I hope you had a good time staying up late with me and Bug Island and the Wii. The Wii got a rare appearance. He's, the Wii is just happy to be here. The Wiimote and the Nunchuck getting some use. Like I said, last time I broke the Wii out was when I did the ending of WiiWare videos. So this is the, the first time since then. And, uh... Well... Oh, I can't go to the menu from here? Let's go to the title screen. So, didn't take as long to get through this.
as some previous years, most notably last year's game. Um, so I'm still feeling pretty good, honestly. I hope you're feeling good, and I hope you're feeling a sense of emotional closure as uh, we finally have escaped from Bug Island. Is is does it have like a like a message for me about how much time I spent playing that? Today's play history: Escape from Bug Island, eight hours eighteen. Total play time, eight hours eighteen. Thank you, thank you. Remember that we used to do this. He used to send you messages about how long you've been playing. Well, according to No More Heroes 3, no more than 10 hours of gaming per day, so I am still within the allowed allotment. The Wii menu, like, I think the front end is still very good. Like, it's very simple. You couldn't really use it for a modern system, but at its time... Very good front end. Uh, so that is it for Escape from Bug Island. That is it for the Wii. That is it for me and you for tonight. And I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you next year for another all-night playthrough. This would have been the 14th anniversary, I believe. TLC was 10. Uh, no, no, 13, 13. Uh, TLC was 10... Uh, Ride to Hell was 11, Blue Stinger was 12, and tonight with Escape from Bug Island was 13. Have a good night.